07 Commanders. My name is Commander Ferion, also known as Fox Trade Echo 1. Today we're going to get into the SCO drive, the new Super Crows, <laughs> Super Cruise Overdrive, and we're going to look at it. I, I'm pretty sure I know why they made it. Uh, why for such a specific purpose, I'm not sure. And like I said, I think that over time people are going to find other uses. But I know what it's used, it's supposed to be used for right now. And we're going to look at that today. We're going to see if we can do it without blowing up the ship. And I'm just saying, that's, that's rock and roll, commanders. All right. Commanders, what is going on? Oh, okay. That was some kind of weird... Uh lying on my screen there we'll have to look into that see what that is but anyway uh so what we want to uh look at today is the seo drive now first and foremost right off the bat i'm gonna tell you guys the seo drive comes in all sizes okay from i uh, three to seven okay so it's not just the five it's not like the pre-engineered uh version it's definitely 100%, I believe, is made for AX, but they don't want to say that. For a couple things, players will find other uses for it, but, you know, because of the stigmatism around Thargoid, 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 that's all that anybody's heard for like a year and a half. So they're all kind of like, oh, I don't want to. Yeah, it, so I understand why they're doing it this way. There was also an incident last week where the developers kind of uh, moved a few knobs around to kind of slow us down because our assault for uh, uh, Tyrannus, or and I'm sorry, Oya, was this week. And uh, they weren't ready with their, um, with their drive yet. And so I believe now that they backed us up a week because they weren't ready with that drive. And they want people to participate. If you watch their live streams lately, there's been a lot of talk about accessibility. You'll notice they, they rolled back all the barriers to entry for getting AX materials, weapons, uh, caustic sinks, the whole nine. I mean, they literally obliterated all this crap that, you know, a lot of us commanders had worked really hard to get that stuff because it was hard to get. And boy, I was a bitch in a storm the whole time. But you know what? So they have taken all those barriers down they have uh they are going to uh continue apparently they took out the glaives uh they took out the in interdictions which was a, it was really a, a huge nightmare to be honest but they may put them back at some point but right now they're out uh the glaives are just too op the sides are actually kind of fun but they were super aggressive so like if you even had one you know, a little human pod on your ship. They would interdict you like every 10 seconds to try and get that one pod off of you. It was it was a struggle, okay? I used to do, 
I used to just put like 10 of them on my ship and then go out there and let the scythes attack me so I could kill them, you know, see how much money there were, stuff like that. And they're, they're actually kind of fun. And you can still see scythes. Uh, you can see them at Titans, uh, at both active and dead. Um, they're actually kind of cool. I, uh, I'm not sure if they're in the stage three. I guess you call it stage three. So stage one of a Titan destruction is complete lockout. It's too toxic. The next two weeks later, it, it becomes available with toxicity, which where, where you still have to take the sink, caustic sinks, which is my favorite version of that, by the way, because that's actually really fun. And it also limits to how long you can stay in there because you have to have caustic sinks. And then the third thing is uh, the, the, the third state that I've seen is where there's no toxicity and then there's other commanders in there. And that's kind of fun, too. I'm going to say that of those two, the, I like both of those uh, states for the system. They're both kind of fun. Um, right now, we're kind of busy with this other, you know, whole killing this Titan thing. So... They back this up, uh, FDev, when I say they, I mean the gods, the FDevs, the developers. They backed this up so that they could get this engine out, is what I'm pretty sure is why they did it now. Uh, and, and I kind of knew that they weren't ready for something. I just didn't know what. Now I know what. And it's because of these SEO drives, which I happen to have with me on my handy-dandy, uh, I don't know how this is going to work. But we're going to try it on the Mamba today. The Mamba is this uh, lovely uh, uh, build right here, with the exception of I have an SEO drive on it now instead of the regular FST uh, uh, on all that. And I'm going to try to make it over to the Titan and see if what happens, basically, is what we're going to do. Um, let me turn that off back here let's go back here hey if you guys want to join my discord please feel free to do so i'll put a link in the chat for you and you can you can uh my my thargoid dis discord i have or my yeah thargoid university it's a just a place where i put uh things that i've learned and whatnot and in a kind of i try to make it in an easy format as possible there's a lot of discords that are very much more confusing than mine so in any event, let's let's just do this, okay? Because I could sit here and just yippity yap my life away, but we're gonna look at it right now, and I know that that's what these are made for. But we're gonna see if we can actually try and perfect it a little bit, okay? We're gonna see if we can get in there. We're gonna see if it actually works. We're gonna see if I blow up my ship. A couple things you gotta remember about the SCO drives: they run super hot, and they also run uh, they run your gas out. So you're almost necessarily going to have to be right next door to the Titan to even try this. And I just happen to be in, in said position of next door to the Titan. So I'm going to go ahead and mark it. And then we're going to see if we can get over there and see what happens now. How many jumps it is. It's still only a jump away, which is good. But it, a Mamba's gas tank is just terrible. So this might actually be better for, for bigger ships that have a hard time getting away than this but i wanted to try it on this first i've got a whole bunch of these things i went out to the store and bought a whole bunch of seo drives of all different sizes they're definitely in all different sizes um so let's see what happens in a little ship let's see if we can burn this thing's gas to the ground look it doesn't have much it's already taken like a third of a tank just going to do this in normal so we're gonna find out oh i need to no i don't need anything I'm pretty sure I got the SEO loaded. I hope so. <laughs> I forget. I did it yesterday, guys. Sorry. If not, we'll just go home. Okay, we're going to get out of here. No changes there. Let's see the speed. The speed on this one is 547. Okay, 547. That's top speed. That's about right. All right. We're out of here. Now, when you get pulled over out of, uh, it's not going to be helpful for hyper addictions, but it may be helpful for uh, for anything else. So we'll, we'll we'll find out here in just a second. Sorry, guys. It's, you know, things take time. Gotta gotta go get in there. And and this is a live video. Okay, I'm doing this live, so whatever happens happens. 
you guys will see it at the same time I see it, and then we can discuss if anyone feels like discussing it. But as it is... Confirming exit point telemetry. Okay, now it's not going to help against this, like, right? I'm trying to push the... I'm pushing the turbo right now. It's not working. Okay, nothing happens there. Now we're going to get out of here. We're going to... Whoa! Stabilize, stabilize, baby, stabilize. Now that... This is not going to change because it's just a regular space, right? So we're going to have to get... We're going to wait for the FSD cooldown. This ship is super fast already, so don't even sweat it. And now it's going to take a whole bunch more gas to do this. I don't think this is going to work on little ships. You know, so I may end up self-destructing this thing because it's already... I'm burning mass amounts of fuel right now just because of that interdiction. You can see I'm already a third down. I'm going to be over half when I make this jump, right? So we're out of here. Let's see what happens. And definitely do not hold down the button, man. Do not, like... I mean, you don't have to hold it down. I don't know if you can toggle that. I still haven't looked, but you have to turn it on, turn it off. So you got to remember that. Okay, that's a trick. That's It's a great trick, except I think it would be better if they give us the option to either have it go on and off or toggle it just to hold it so you can just hold it and then let it go. Because I think that's going to be a better use case for it than turning it on, turning it off. Because if you forget to turn it off, Morning. you're going to be out of here. Yeah, see, I'm already out of fuel. But let's see what happens. We're going to... Now we're 6.1 away. And we're just going to burn rubber for just a second. I think. Maybe. Oh. I don't think... Maybe I forgot the damn thing. Did I not put it on? I thought I did. It didn't go into FSD mode. Okay, so if we get out of here, hold on, we'll try it again. I'm not sure why it didn't go. Hold on. I forgot to look and see if I put it on. My bad. You know, it happens. I'm a little excited. I wanted to see if this works. It should just come on. Maybe it. Maybe I don't have enough. I don't know. I don't know how feel. No, it's not working. So that means there is an error. There is a boo-boo. There is a boo-boo. Damn it. Why? What are my modules? Where's my FST? Frameship drive. Okay, maybe I didn't put it on. All right, guys. Sorry. False alarm. Let's try it again. <clears throat> Let me go get my ship back home. I thought I put it on. Maybe I didn't. Okay. Oh, I had to ship it home. Maybe that's what I did. Let's go ahead and turn around and get out of here. We gotta go back to the carrier real quick. My bad. False alarm. Coming in hot. <laughs> no! Come on! This thing is running out of gas. Quick. I don't know. Maybe I didn't do it. I... I yeah, I don't know. I forgot to check. You know, shit happens. What are you guys shooting at? You guys stop shooting at me. I'm gonna run out of gas even trying to get home from here. Is it not the FSCO drive? I'm not sure, because it's not doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah, I'm already out of gas. We're going to try this. We might have to try this in an Anaconda. Because Anaconda's got a bigger gas tank. I definitely don't want to give up a slot for more gas. So there's, they may need to adjust that down a little bit. Because it really... Because I'm actually going through a lot of fuel right now. Interstellar cabinet engaged. So hold on. We're, we're, we're going we're gonna to figure this out. We're going to... Maybe it is good for big ships, but hull integrity is within limits. All other systems. I, I don't know how many limits. people are bombing in a uh, uh, Mamba. That we could. I don't have a bomber that's set up as a crate, so uh, I would love to, but I just don't want to. I've been building so many ships that I'm looking like sick of building ships. Yeah, it's still not going. So let me see. I got it. We got to go look. We got to go back to. We got to take it into the garage and see what's going on here. There's something, some shenanigans going on here. That's not cool. As yesterday, I was doing it with. Uh, and we could actually take that ship. I'm just trying to see how it works. I actually have a, a, a Phantom that was working pretty good. That Phantom was getting up, baby. It was moving. But I'm just wondering how much uh, if this is going to work for a Mamba. It may not. 
And that's some of the things that commanders are going to have to do, or they'll just wait for people like me to go out there and sit there and screw around. Because I'll, I can sit here all day and test stuff. I don't care. I totally don't need money or nothing. So I'm good. I'm just. I know that the war is going on. We got some stuff to do this week. The spire site next door to this place is the target. So if you have not uh, fi uh, figured that out yet, I actually talked about it yesterday on the stream yesterday when I first got the SEO drive. Uh, and just like I said, the biggest thing that I see people misquoting is that they think it's only for the five, class five, it's not. It's every single class has a C SEO drive. So every class, they were intending this, they were intending the, the users Incoming transmission. to uh, hey 07 from Bavaria, uh, Commander, Commander Franklin. Um, so we're gonna, what am I doing here? I'm uh, talking and driving. This is very, this is almost like texting and driving for me. Okay, when I'm chit chatting away, I just, I, I do it in real life too. If I'm sitting there talking to somebody while I'm driving, I drive right past the exits. I do, I'm not gonna lie. It's just how it goes. So apologize for the confusion on this one, Commanders. I'm not sure why the turbo or the uh, SEO is not working. We will figure it out here. We're going to take it to the garage and uh, take a peek at the, under the hood and see what the hell is going on with this thing. Because like I said, I know I, I know I shipped the drive back here. So I had to go to the... I actually went to... Oh, I know what I did. I actually flew this thing. I slapped a fuel scoop on it, which probably still has. I just take it off. And then um, I flew this thing all the way back to the carrier over near Oya. And uh, I had the drive shipped over, but I might I might have... Because it was going to take like 30 minutes, and I might have just said, screw it, and started watching TV or whatever and just forgot about it. But we'll find out. We'll find out. We'll get this. We'll get her sorted. We'll get assorted, Commanders. Now this ship happened, this ship actually has a 4C, uh, a 4, a class 4 FSD slot. So this one already is different than what people are saying with the 5. It's because it's not all 5s, it's every size. Which is kind of nice if this is what you're into. Alright, let's get over there. Can you somebody give me some docking please? Yeah, go ahead and just yeah. You guys handle it. I don't. I'm I'm too lazy to handle it right now. We're gonna check it out though. Oh, it's in control. We're in. Yeah, just get me down there. Get me down there. Yes, I do have a docking computer on my ship, just because it pisses off the purists. <laughs> I you know why I piss off the purists? You really want to know? Because I used to be one, and I I finally realized. I got to a certain age and I said, you know, I'm kind of a dick. Maybe I just stop doing that. I don't have to, we don't have to gatekeep every single thing on the planet. That's no fun. All right, let me take a look real quick and we'll get this thing sorted. Uh, it's possible I just forgot to put the drive on, silly me. But man, I'm running out of fuel quick. Why am I running out of fuel? So I think the fuel thing might be jacked up because I don't remember running out of fuel that fast. So we're gonna we're gonna look at this, but this thing is a little wonky. I don't know if it's gonna be good for a mama. Not at its current fuel uh, distribution rate. They need to. The, no, pilot AX pilots are not gonna give up a slot for a fuel tank. Well, okay, hardcore. Let me rephrase. Hardcore AX pilots are not gonna want to give up a slot for the fuel tank. We'll take the hit and take the longer drive. Trust me. But we're not going to like it. It's going to suck. Um, let's see. Where are we at? We need internal, core internal. Okay, yeah, it's the wrong frame shift drive. See, it's a 4, class 4. So I just need to replace it with the class 4 SCO. Any drive that's SCO, that's the one. And you can see I've got, I've got multiple... I have different ones. I've already put some on. That's why I have so many frame shift drives in here that are engineered. It's because I've already been putting them on other ships just for testing. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to put this on. Yeah, that gas, the gasoline situation is a little tricky. Now, let me, 
let me go ahead and see what happens now. We're going to put the navigation on uh, Galaxy. We'll go here. We'll go Oya. And we'll go in here. Still looks like it's going to be one jump, which is nice. It literally takes way over half of your jump range, too, with this drive. And you can't engineer it for mass manager or anything. So uh, not yet. Now, that may be a feature they throw in later where you can get FSD range. And uh, it, it'll still be less than what you had on the, the regular drive. But at least it'll be better. Like, this is really... This is really testing the limits right now, and it's probably the, the reason they did it is so they can find out how we're going to circumvent their setup. And I'm, I'm telling you right now, extra fuel tanks is not going to be a thing, at least not for the harder core pilots. Uh, however, there's less hardcore pilots than there are just you know regular AX pilots that really have no idea what's going on. They just try to figure out where, like I was doing for a while, you know, just trying to figure out where is everybody. That's because it's hard to, it's super hard to solo this stuff. Not the Titan itself, but it's super hard to solo, uh, like spire sites and, and, and combat zones and stuff like that. They are hard to solo, so they, but it can be done. I've actually done a few. I used to do invasions all the time, ground, the ground assault invasions. All right, let's see if we can get over there without running out of... Oh, wait a minute. It wants me to... I need to remap that. Hold on a minute. <clears throat> All right, let's try that again. Let's see if we can remap that. Titan oil. I'm not sure what happened there. We need to, we need to recalibrate. Let's recalibrate. There we go. Route unavailable. Okay, so, all right. So already I can't even jump there in this Mamba. So let me see if I can change the settings. Uh, where's the settings? Hold on, I'll find it. I've seen it before. Power play? No. Wait a minute. Why is it giving me a hard way to go? Hold on, let's go here. Aha, route settings. Let's try it on... Economical. All right. And then let's see if we can get to it from there. Yeah, the mama may not be able to do it at all, which is fine. The mama's super fast. That's why I said it might take a bigger ship. Uh, let me go back and see if we can set that sucker up again. We got route settings, economical. We want to go to Thargoid. We want to go to Oya. Then we want to go in here. And then we want to see if we can target it again. No, route unavailable. So yeah, the mama cannot make it. Not from here. Where else the hell can it go? Boy, that jump range is really short, isn't it? Can I go to here? Nope, can't even get to that. And that's really close. All right, so the mama is not digging this at all. Let me just see if there's something else. Because we don't have... Yeah, it's just not going to make it. The Mamba's too little. It would have to have... We would have to stick another uh, gas tank on this thing just to even get it out of here. Where's the... Let me find this carrier real quick. All right, we're going to try a different one. We'll try another one. Let me go back to the carrier. Wake up. Initiating. Voice control on. Request docking. Okay, or don't. It's fine. Not a big deal. Oh. Uh, one. Okay, we can do this. It's not a problem. I've done this before. Okay. So, okay, so the Mamba doesn't want to make it. So that's interesting. Well, that's okay. I'm not too worried about getting pulled over in this thing anyway, but it is annoying as hell. Let me try something a little bit bigger. We got other ships. It's not a problem. We'll get in there. 
I just kind of want to see. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that gas used to sell. This thing, like, doesn't have very much gas to begin with. But I don't know if there's a gas issue right now or what, because that other, I don't remember ever having this problem with the other FSD. So we're going to drop the Mamba for a second. Welcome. I'm just seeing if I can get a bomber in there. Um, okay, let me see. Let's grab another one. Let's grab another ship. Let me see. Okay, let's grab, like... Kiriakos, he's, he, he's got, I think he's got a bigger, he's got a bigger uh, fuel tank. Let me try this one. See what we can do with this one. It, it's that damn jump range though. I don't know. That jump range is going way too far down. And you can't use a, you don't want to use a, a, well, maybe you can. But I don't think you want to use a, an FSD booster on this sucker. Um, let me try this one. And I may need to look at it more thoroughly. So core internal. I have an SCO on here. It's a 5. The jump range is only 20.73. That's not amazing, but it's not the worst I've ever seen. For a, for a warship, it's pretty good. It's further than my Corvette can go. All right, let's see if we can line this one up. And we'll try it. We'll, we'll get a test out of this today. Uh, Galaxy Mount. Closing map. Yeah, thank you. Uh, no, no. Could you not do that? Thank you. I need to. I need to be able to target this guy. Let's go to. Let's go to Oya. Can we plot even to there? Why is it doing that? So something's up. Cause this isn't right. I should at least be able to get there. Why is it not working? I wonder if it's broke. Cause I could swear. That's not that far. How far is that? It says it's only it's eighteen point nine three. That's not even that's not even far at all. Okay, something's wrong with these things. It's not letting me go there. Why? Why? Now okay, so let's try something crazy. Let's see if we can find how far is this? Oh, that's clear. I think there's a. I think there's a. Yeah, this is only thirteen point two. Okay, yeah, there's definitely something wrong with it today, cause that ain't right. It should be able to let me plot that route. That ain't working. Yeah, I think there's something wrong with the drive. I think they boogered it. Cause why? It's only thirteen point two. My jump range is twenty something. But it's not letting me go anywhere. Now this is a non, this is a regular system now, right? It's not controlled by Thargoids. So they're not doing that. But they're not letting me plot anywhere. What is up with that? Hmm, there's something going on. There's something, there's some shenanigans going on. I'm wondering there is some shenanigans going on here with this thing because it's not working let me try to switch it out again let me just I'm trying to think why why would it do that huh let's see so we're all good here we just need the FSD drive again let me see what happens if I switch it back I mean, I don't know unless there's some kind of bug I need to re reboot or something. Let me just see if it switches back, if it'll let me at least target a system. I need a 5A. Okay, this is a regular 5A. Engineered. Yes, Commander. Uh-huh. And then let's go out of here. Let me see if we can target now. I'm wondering if switching those drives is, is causing a bug, so I'm just kind of testing that right now. So, I'm a little bit... Oh, yeah, so the route plotted right away once I switch that drive back. But the distance that I have is far enough. It's 20. 20 light years, which is more than enough to get to... Uh, let me see. 
So if you plot that route, yeah, it's plotting fine with that drive. So that's weird. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna, we gotta do another test. We gotta figure out if, cause I, I don't know, maybe switching it is causing an issue. And so we're gonna have to find out. Let's do this. Just the, it's, this is just for the testies, right? Testing it. We got to test it. It's not working for some reason. Now this is a five SCO. Yes, five SCO. We're going to equip it. It's a class five and a class five slot. Good. We're good to go. And now let's see if we can replot that route again. Now it says two jumps. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think something's screwing it up. I'll be honest. Because now it says it's two jumps to get to there, which is fine. All right. But I still didn't even put... um, Because this first jump is 12, right? That's fine. And then here, that one's 18. Technically, I should be able to make that one, but I do want to put, I do need to put uh, limp or uh, yeah, limpets. I need limpets. So I'm going to do that and then I'll replot again and see if it'll actually do it. Um, yeah, we need to go ahead and put those in. I think there's some shenanigans. I think there's some bugs going on, guys, because it's. Uh, not working as intended i'm sure of it all right so we're gonna we're gonna unplot this then we're gonna replot this now it won't plot it but we'll plot that's weird yeah it's there are definitely some bugs man so this is where i was plotted now it's not plotting so that's definitely weird hip two one Two one. Let's try this. Hip. Yeah, there's something going on. There's something wrong. Two one. One six five. And then if I hold that, it should plot for me. Nope, it's not plotting. Route unavailable. Yeah, you saw it. It plotted there a second ago. Let me. Okay. All right. Hold on. Hold on. We'll try it again. We'll try the trick again. But definitely something broken. All right, hold on. Let's see. If we go to carrier services, and we go over here, and we say, okay, look, we want the other thingy. We're going to replace that with a regular 5A, right? All right, good, good, good to know. And then we want to... Uh, Exit. That's affirmative. Okay. And then we want to... Let's go over here. We're going to try it again. Now it, now it plotted, right? So it plotted to there. Not a problem. Now if I switch that drive... I think there's some calculation issues going on. Because that's just weird. It, okay, let's go ahead and go. Three services. And we want to go... Here. I mean, I don't care if it's two jumps. It's just that it needs to... Other than it's going to run me out of gas in like two seconds. I don't think it's completely ready yet, guys. I think there's got to be a patch for this. I'm going with that. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So now I'm going to try and switch this back over to the SCO. Because nobody's going to want to do all this. I'm just doing it because I know little tricks. But, you know. Okay, now... And if I do jump over there, I might not be able to get back. All right, so let's see. One. It still says it's plotted. It definitely won't let me go there. So it's not letting me. It's not letting me plot these routes, which is weird because I was plotting them just fine in regular space on a, on a, in a. in a crate. I'm not sure what happened. There was a tick, 
But I don't know what happened. I'm not sure why this isn't working now. It's not working now. Okay, so yeah, that's a weird thing. So I need to get over here. My 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 flight test is a fail. Cause I can't plot the route. It won't let me plot it. And I don't understand why, because it's only the distance is only eighteen point nine three. My <coughs> my jump range is well now it now okay now it does okay now it's only ten right current yeah it's too too low how the hell am I even gonna do that okay one second we're gonna have to try something crazy let me try this uh, is it this one yeah it's this one okay hold on hold on oh man we're gonna have to give up a whole four a five hold on we're gonna have to try to let me see if we can even get that jump over there. Why why are you doing that? Let me I need an FSD booster? I don't have a five though, damn. And the power you oh yeah, this is gonna be a nightmare. Okay, so it's not gonna work with that one. Okay, hold on. We're gonna try something different. Alright, hold on. We're gonna figure this out. This is too much. Alright. Let's go with a different ship. Let's go with the Conda. So it's not working on the little guys, the medium guys. Let's see if we can do it on a Conda. And the one we need is Tenebris. All right, let's see if, because I do have a six. I think I already put a drive in it. All right, let's see if we can get there. Yeah, it's that jump range is way too short on those. So that's probably why it's not working. Oh, no, we want to go down here and just make sure we got the right FSD in here and see what the jump range is. We want to put, we do want to put limpets in here. So let's see. It's right, it's going to, it's going to limp, limit you to limpets too. It's not going to let you have limpets. Okay, this, yeah, it'll, it'll pretty much be unusable if it's not going to do that. Okay, 16 is fine. Well, we could try it at 32 just to make sure. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. Yeah, because I want to see what that jump range is. And this one has the drive in it, I believe. Yeah, SCO. It's not okay. So the big ships might actually be better for big ships. Um, let's see. So 12, 12.41. That is so short. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. See if we can plot a route over there. Hold on. We'll figure it out, boys. We got this. Let me see if we... Whoa, holy crikey. That's insane. That's a lot. That's a, <laughs> that's a lot of jumps. I have, it says it'll make it, though. But damn, that's a lot of jumps. Okay, hold on. We're going to change the settings. We're going to figure this out. I promise. I promise. Or we won't, one way or the other. It may not be, this may not be the way for us. Uh, route settings, can we just go fastest? Okay. And then go back to the galaxy map. And go back to, uh, where were we even trying to go? Yeah, look at that. Oh my God, that's like ridiculous. It's a little too balanced, guys. You need to unbalance this a little bit. All right, so. No. That's still like seven jumps. That is not going to work. I'm trying to think if there's a closer. What? How many? How far is this one? 16. Boy, I don't know what to tell you about that. We would have to put a booster on this thing even though that's a really bad idea because that supposedly attracts more Thargoids. But we'd have to put a booster on this damn Anaconda just to get it over there. So, wow, that's just insane. Yeah, that's, that's too many jumps. Ain't nobody gonna wanna do that. So maybe not, maybe not great. Maybe not, maybe not what we're looking for. Hmm. 
Yeah, my jump range is just too short. It really, really hurts the jump range when you do that. But I'm trying to think. The only way to, to, to up the jump range is to put a booster on. I don't have a five. I only have a three. I mean, oops. We can, uh, we can try that and see. But still, I mean, to get... You're really going to have to change the, the way your ship's formatted to get this to work, I think. Because you got to get that jump range at least, to, I'm thinking at least 20 is the only way it's going to work. And I only have a couple ships that really have that kind of jump range. Well, my crate does, but my crate's not really designed for bombing. It could be, but it's not. And my ASP Explorer, I wouldn't, I don't recommend that to anybody. Let me just see if we can do anything with this warship. And maybe this is just, maybe it is, you know, maybe it is for, you know, warships uh, that are cold and stuff like that. This one is cold, actually. This one's pretty cold. Let me see what else we can do. We need to, I don't have any more boosters. It's got a shield gen. It's got some fives. So what I would do, I have a three. Let's see what the three does. Hull reinforcement three. Let's take that off. And put on an FST booster. And then see how far that gives us. Well, that does give us quite a bit. But it takes up a lot of power. It takes up a lot of boom, 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 boom. Not, it's not terrible. Like it's like just barely over. But still, that's uh, 20.26 fully laden. Eh, I mean, it's doable. It's just the power kind of sucks. But you could turn off You could turn off some stuff, probably, and get it down. Let me see if we can get it down a little. Let's go over to here and talk to these guys and just shut off something. Let's shut off this guy. That should do it. There, yeah, there we go. All right, let's go find out if we can make it. We might make it, boys. We might make it. All right, so not as easy as I thought it was going to be, and it's not as convenient as I thought it was going to be. There will definitely be some ship redesigns coming out, boys. Give you prepared. Uh, we want to go over to, we're trying to get to this guy, right? And then we want to go the system out. And we 100% want to target this thing, right? All right? All right? Okay, how many jumps is that? Oh, it's one jump. All right, well, okay, I put an FSD booster on it. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. We're still going to get hurt. I mean, thank God the glaives are gone. We're still going to get... This is an anaconda, so this thing is not fast. But we'll try it. We'll give it a shot. What the hell, yeah? I just want to see how this damn turbo works. So yeah, this thing, whoo, this thing is really tight right now. And that is probably intentional, guys. They will probably, if, you know, depending on what they observe this week, they're going to probably try to make some adjustments. And as soon as the AXI guys get really, because those guys are super, like, super knowledgeable about all this stuff, they'll, they'll, they'll do much deeper dives than I'm going to do, okay? I'm just not that guy, sorry to say all right, let's see if we can get over there. Can we do it? Let's go. So we took off a we took off a hull module, and we're gonna try it with a FSD booster. That's really this thing is just gas hog too. So yeah, there's definitely gonna be some adjustments to ship loadouts for this, and we can try it in a crate after this one and see what we can come up with. We're gonna try it on this. Definitely not no go on a bomber. None of my bomber, even my coolest bomber. I, I just you're gonna to have to. Uh, yeah, you ha I'd have to go get a bunch of uh, FSD boosters. I got. I don't have any. I don't have any on hand right now. I need to go grab, grab a couple threes and a couple fives just to have them on hand. Speed restrictions have been lifted. They have. Thanks, man. And then obviously power concerns. So the the level five uh, booster is going to take a lot of power. 
Um, so we're still gonna probably, you know, this is an Jumping anaconda. It could work. We'll see. Uh, like I said, I don't have every configuration ever thought of, so I can I can try it on definitely on a crate, and I can try it on an anaconda. I already tried on a mamba. That's definitely a no-go. A mamba is already weak as it is. Okay, go ball. Take me down. Let's go. Hold on. Hold on. I don't know. I felt like it was buggy, but it's not. It's. I was just not reading what it was saying correctly, which is not unusual. I do that. That's that's how I roll. I don't know. It seems kind of buggy, but it's not. But it is very restrictive. Like, you know. So I'm gonna have two freaking. Cause this thing don't travel real fast. You can see, it only travels about 380. That's pretty slow for these uh, for these guys. As long as they don't mass lock me, we'll be fine. Okay, we didn't get mass lock, so we're okay. They might start a shooting at me. They might hit my shield and my hull a little bit. Oh, there they go. They're getting ready. They're getting ready to take a, take a piece of me. They want their pound of flesh. Leaving system. All right. 07, Commander. All right, let's try this again. We're going in hot. Going in with the Conda. Uh, the Mamba's going to take more time. I'm going to have to really see what I can do there. That might be a complete refit on that. Um, to even get it to where I get it to the system. I mean, I don't mind the speeding up shit. Oh, there we go. This should work now. Tell me this is going to work now. Let's turn this sucker around and then we're gonna turbo right on over there and try not to run out of gas you guys ready oh okay well i guess we're not doing that yet oh wait a minute can i do it now nope you can't turbo once you're interdicted okay none of that none of that bullshit. all right my my orders are to boogie shoes baby get me out of here we need to we need to try that we haven't even got to the the boosting part yet Yeah, I might wait for some of the smarter guys to figure out, but man, I'm going through some serious juice already. All right, let's see what's going on. Let's try to get back in there, and then we're gonna boost. We're gonna hit that sucker. And now you don't want to hold it. You just want to burst. You want to. You want to do it in burst because you don't want to run out of gas. Either. There it goes. We're we're booking now, baby. Uh oh, what happened? Okay. Well, we made it halfway. Oh, and then we got pulled over immediately. All right. Wow, that was weird. That was weird. Okay, I gotta get used to how this works. Okay, hold on. We're gonna try it. We're already halfway. We're halfway, come on. Don't you mass lock me, brat. Oh, you're just seriously going to mass lock me the whole time. Oh, I hate mass lock. There's nothing that we are no way out of this unless I go highway. Then I have to come all the way back. So, so far, so far it's not been great. Okay? My turbos are not turbo enough. And this thing's full power. Like, it's got a lot of power. And it's still, it's, it's in trouble. It's... Guardian, oh, my Guardian Booster's already dead. So can't even get home now. Yeah, it, it, you're right, Mr. D. I agree with you. It's too much. They're going to need to adjust that down a little bit. I, even if even if it's not realistic, it needs to be way less than that. That's too much. And now they already they just burnt my uh, FSD booster, so I can't even get home now. And I'm going to have to highway it out of here, and I don't think I can even highway it highway it home. So this is, yeah, this is not good for, it's not ready for prime time yet. It's not ready for AX stuff just yet. There's no way, because I'm already getting beat up. Come on, man. I'm going to have to turn to him. Okay, bud. You want a little piece of this? You're going to get it. Yeah, we're going right at you. Yeah, you and your Thargons. Okay. Shield 
offline. Whoa, they're really hurting me now. Yeah, I don't even know if I can get home. I didn't bring it. I didn't bring a, a repair unit. Yeah, the wobbly thing, I think they're just... I'm telling you, I think that... I'm going to say that they're doing this because they're going to bring out the... the the, fan, uh, the Python Mark II, and I bet you it's a little more stable. Okay, we're almost there. I'm still not doing great. I don't even think I can get home now. Yeah, this was a bad roll. We got a bad roll. That happens. There we go. Alright, we're back in action. Alright, let's turn and burn. Wow! Wow. Okay, we're down. We're down. We're close. We are closer. But I don't think I can get home. Regardless, because if it if it killed my FSD thing, there's nowhere to repair here or anywhere near here. It's gonna take a lot. It's gonna take. Yeah, no problem, Mr. D. I appreciate you coming by. Um, yeah, I just want to see. Yeah, it. This is an anaconda, man. My mamba was like, hell no. My mamba was like, why don't you go? And and I'm going to a Titan, so you know it's gonna burn. The, it's gonna. I mean, so you can get in, but you can't get out. It's a one-way trip right now, because there's no way in hell. It has to be at least around a 20 jump range to even be feasible, um, because most. Even if you're at your closest, a lot of the Titans are a little bit further out. This The Titan from where I'm at is like 18 light years, so um, it's a little tricky. Uh, like I said, I'm not, you know, I'm not a super ship engineer, but I can tell you right now, this ain't right. This ain't happening. But that turbo, man, that thing is badass. It goes fast, but it does. It just, just chews up some gasoline. And I don't think I can make it home. So I was gonna I'll go ahead I'll go ahead and oh well maybe I will. If I can get <laughs> if I can get there. It's yeah, it didn't it didn't solve all my issues. And I know it doesn't work with the super cruise assist either, so uh, yeah, it's it's not hundred percent ready for prime time yet. I think there's some adjustments coming. Unfortunately, I mean that is this I believe that's why they backed up the assault for a week because I think they wanted to kind of put it in the game see what happens see how the commanders react to it uh, poorly which they're all gonna react very poorly to it uh, you know the other half of the the other half of the commanders are gonna try to go to hut normal and explode and just melt their ships into a ball of ball of goo so it's gonna be interesting to see <laughs> fortunately I have enough money I can do these tests God damn, man. What the hell? Oh my god. Yeah, avoid interdiction on that. Yeah, that's not enough. That's not enough interdiction avoidance. And I think the problem is, too, is because I got that stupid FSD booster on here. I'm going to have to see if I can even get home or if I'm just going to have to self destruct. I hate blowing up a $32 million ship, but you know what? Sometimes it's just, sometimes it's just a necessary evil. Hey, leave me alone, guys. Leave me alone. I need a, t I need a moment to think. Just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Okay, super drive. That, okay, I ran right into the sun. How cool was that? That was awesome. And then, okay, I think I ran. And I. Okay, so after the interdiction, the super drive was still engaged. So it doesn't disengage itself. Uh, which is not good uh, so we got to yeah so that's why we hit the Sun at Mach 8 million all right we're gonna try to see if we can get out of here without getting killed yeah I'm having this is a bad day <laughs> yeah, it's a bad day commanders this is not going well this is not going well at all <laughs> All right, let's try it. We got the cooldown. Where can I jump to? Oh, it's gonna. 
Where's the escape vector? There it is. Alright, alright. Alright, 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 alright. Deploy heat sink. Deploy. I deploy the heat sink. Or not. Deploy heat sink. Deploying heat sink. Give me another one. Hit me with one more. Come on. Okay, we need to. Whoo wee. Now where's the damn. Now is it done? Is it, is it off now? Okay, so after. If you get interdicted. It still leaves your. Maybe. I think. Let me see. I think it left my super drive on because I just went like three gazillion miles an hour right past Oya, right into the sun. We're just, uh, yeah, we're not doing great. We're not doing great. <laughs> we're not doing great. Oh, man, isn't it awesome? I don't even think I'd get home. The, the, they, they inoperated my, my FSD booster, which is the only hope I had of getting here. And now it's not happening so maybe i was wrong maybe they didn't design it for ax but i think they did i think they just need to adjust it because it would be fun for ax especially at hadad uh because hadad is super far away from the sun and it would be interesting and i know other commanders are going to find other reasons to use it except i'm pretty sure hut and orbital ain't going to be one of them yeah it's a little bit too much it's a little bit too much a little too much fuel, uh, a lot of too much fuel, actually. I'm gonna say. Hey, Strider, how's it going? Hold on, we're gonna we're gonna park it right here for a minute. We're gonna see if we can even get home. Okay, we got okay fuel. It's just a matter of the fact that we lost the booster. So the booster went bye-bye, and I kind of knew that was going to be a thing. But I thought I'd try it anyway, because why not? All ran let's see. Yeah, frame shift drive booster. It is rendered useless. I don't think that can hit me, but who knows? Okay, so that thing is dead dead. What is that even doing? Oh, that brought out my weapons. Okay, yeah, it is it is dead. It is not going anywhere. So the only way we're getting out of here... Oh, this one must be an open. Um, let's see if we can get anywhere. Ugh, none of these are great. Yeah, the light years are good on some of these. Because I even tried it in an economical. Well, that was seven jumps. Man, that's ridiculous. Um, that's just too much. They got to they gotta work on that jump range a little bit. Or they're going to have to let us engineer them. One, of the, one way or the other, there's going to have to be a change to this. How far can I get? Oh, what's this? This is not... Okay, maybe... Can I get to this one? Yeah, I can get to that one. And it's... Oh, yeah, they're going at him. They're they're working him. They're working Oya already. It, it... Let's go see what's over here. I want to see if I can get to a station. Oh. Oh. Is that so? Oh. <laughs> Damn. I'm having a day. All right, let's try this. We got this now, commanders. We're on it. We're all over this. It's going down. It's going down like a clown. Am I clipping the mic? Yo! Yeah, I am a little bit. Just turn that down a little bit. Um, this next area is a non non thyroid zone. Down All integrity there. is within limits. All other systems are at normal levels. Okay, if I'm clipping the mic, guys, let me know, okay? I get a little excited sometimes. Oh! Damn it. Okay. Whew. 
All right, now what's in here? Is there anything in here? Is there anywhere I can go park for a minute? Uh, trying to take the contacts. Uh, wait, no, I didn't want that. Why? Why you do me like that? Why am I thumb all crazy? Okay, let's go in here and see if there's. Okay, or let's not go there. Let's go here. No, we're still going. To... Went to the wrong place three times. Right here. That. Oh, here we go. There's a station right here. Let's go to that. Let's go to that and get healed up. I'm not ready to blow up my ship yet. I gotta wait till Strider's here and he's watching before I can blow up a 32, a 32 million dollar credit, 32 million credit ship. Cause otherwise it just, it doesn't have the same dramatic effect where he yells at me. You blew up a perfectly good spaceship. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm just that kind of guy. I will do that. It's all for the views, right? Right, Stride? All right, so, so far my testing has gone completely awry here. Shit, I'm going to have to wait for the videos to come out of the people that figure out how to do this, but I'm... I'm, I'm almost positive they're going to want to adjust that a little bit. Or they're going to have to let us engineer. And I don't know if they intended that or not, but I'm assuming they must have because the jump range on here is completely worthless. And if they want it ready for, unless they're going to, unless they're going to do a surprise attack on us again this week, I think next weekend's going to be Oya time. It's going to be all Oya all day. Testing. So we're just going to pop in here just to repair everything so I can get back to my carrier. And then I might have to take a nap. That was pretty stressful. <laughs> All right. So I don't know. We'll have to come back here and see. I do want to go to the spire sites today, maybe. Or tomorrow for sure. We can do testing today and then do that tomorrow. But I don't know. Whatever it is, I'm not. is, I'm not there. I'm not there. I'm not ready to use this. Now, of course. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna trash it pretty soon. Why is this thing got yellow light? Why is it? Why is it got warning lights on the front? I never seen that before. Have you guys ever seen that? I've never seen this. Is it? Is it in trouble? Is it damaged? Huh. I don't know. Let's request docking, see what happens. Hey, my computer still works. That's all you really need, commanders. You just need a docking computer on your AX ships, and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So, so far, I'm not thrilled. Okay? There's some, there's some little issues. I had an issue where I came out of Super Cruise, and I was still, uh, still uh, connected to my... Either that or I just hit it. But either way, I flew right into the sun in two seconds. It's kind of nice. I mean, it's neat. It's a neat little turbo, but I, I don't know the exact application. I'm sure the devs are just sitting around right now laughing. Ha! <laughs> ha! Look at that sucker. What is up with this place, man? It looks weird. There's hardly anything going on here. Is it broken? Is it? Is, what is it saying? Restricted access. Why am I restricted? What does this even mean? Well, at least I can do this part. Landing successful. Commence system shutdown. Oh, um, what's in the services? What do we got here? This is this is crazy. We're in desperate need of material. Oh, the station's damaged. Okay, so this must be in some sort of recovery or something? I don't know. I've never seen this before. Mission boards. Contacts. What kind of contacts we got here? We got an administrator. A bond contact. Search and rescue. I almost needed those guys. 
Ah, uh, wow. Okay. What kind of missions are here? I'm just curious now. I'm just like, what the hell's going on around here? Oh, trans oh so transport missions. So this is like an evacuation situation or something? I'm not sure what's going on with this. To be honest, commanders, this is not my gig. Anyway, I got repaired. So now I should be able to at least get back home because my module should be restored. Yep, it's back on. So that was a terrible, terrible, horrible, terrible idea. I can't think of how you're going to be able to do it. I mean, possibly you could do it on an economical, but man, that's going to be a shit ton of jump. That's just not going to, I mean, that's just, I mean, the time you'd save getting from the sun to the thing would be wasted by all the jumps you have to make. Plus, you don't have a fuel scoop, so God knows how much fuel that's going to use, right? I don't know, commanders. I'm, I'm a little bit uh, weary about this. I'm not sure what the hell is going on I may not I may or may not be able to look they've worked it a little bit they worked it just a smidgen they're working on it they're already like screw this we're gonna take this we're taking this sucker down <laughs> uh, so it, actually if you want to make sure you get your decals make sure you get in there and get your two million by next weekend okay if anything changes, I'll let you guys know. But uh, you got you want to at least if you just want your decals, if you don't want to go into the whole war and all that, get them by next weekend and do it by any means necessary. I'm not thrilled with this whole drive yet, and I bought a bunch of them and I put it on a bunch of ships just for the funsies. But yeah, this is no bueno, no bueno, no bueno. All right, we're going to see if we can get back home. Two jumps. What's the settings looking like? Yeah, so, wow. this. Oh, yeah, this jump range on this thing is crap. Yeah, it's just... And maybe it's where I'm at, too. Maybe I need to try to move, but... I mean, you could, you could base out of here and be in range out of this Lou Mons, but um, the station there is very limited, so... But you can repair and everything, so this could be a good base of operations for doing this stuff. Um, but you're going to have to figure out um, so I'd say for regular commanders, you might need to um, yeah, you might need to uh, try to you, I maybe, wait let me look when I get over there okay let me look when I get over there. Let's go ahead and go home. Let's go ahead and go home. This is not happening. Not in its current form. I don't think that it's happening. A little too much. A little too much. Yeah, no, I'm not I'm not trashing this condo. I'm taking it home safely. You told me that it was bad that I trashed the condos, man. Huh? You, you scolded me on the Facebooks. You said, I cannot believe you destroyed... You said it in a Russian accent, too. You destroyed... It, or it could be a German accent. I'm not sure which accent this is better. You destroyed the Kanda for no reason. What is wrong with you, Commander? That's what I heard. That's what I envisioned you sounded like when you were scolding me. Alright, we're going to try to get home now. This has been... This has not been as epic as I thought. But again, it's... Not necessarily the tribe's problem. It's right now. It's my problem. I'm, it's a me problem. I'm trying to figure out how to get a damn ship in there. But the booster is not a thing, so definitely would have to. We'll, we'll have to see if we can do that. But we definitely would have to go to a system close enough. And the jump range is just abysmal. After you, you know, it, the jump range on these things is abysmal. So if they don't let us to increase FSD Exit range, confirmed. Arrival or five, you know, or four, you know, whatever three, mass manager and two, all that crap, one. I just don't think these are going to be usable. Now they're great. I think the, right now maybe the test is just to see how they operate once they're in a system. 
but I mean, we're going to take a look at some things when we get back here. I'm still not ready to look at bombers yet. Bombers are just no no go right now. Bombers are no bueno right now. But the, especially not the mamba. The mamba, the, that stupid thing, like drain the gas tank in, in three seconds. Mambas don't have an incredibly big, huge gas tank anyway. And I just don't see a lot of commanders. They may, but I mean, putting in a gas tank for just that little bit of, yeah, I don't know. I don't think the juice is worth the squeeze on that one. It's a Highlander quote, and uh, he can own it. But, yeah, I don't know yet. We're going to go look at, uh, just let me put my let me put my little thinking cap on. I'll, I'll think of something. I'll come up with some kind of idea. I just don't know what it is. Yet. That one station's restricted, though. But it's only nine away. It's only nine light years away from the Titan. So it might be okay, but man, getting people to get that specific, I just don't know. Let me see. Yeah, oh yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. Hold on a minute. Let me let me get this thing parked for a second and we'll we'll make some adjustments. We're gonna try to make some adjustments to try and make this more palatable. But I'm telling you, it's not always gonna be the case. You're not always gonna be able to park within ten light years of a within ten light years of a, a thing, so yeah. So whatever they do, whether they wait till uh, devs are not super reactive, so they're not. I doubt they'll react to it like this weekend or anything. But they'll definitely be looking at it to see what commanders come up with uh, as far as how they get around the limitations of it. Uh, and as far as they can, there there's just some things you're just not going to be able to do. But I swear that this is what they built this for. I mean, it could be useful, but only in short-range situations. And I don't think that that's... Now, in the bubble, you could put on an FSD booster and just fly all over the place. But outside the bubble, that's not going to be a thing. Uh, because, obviously, they rendered mine inoperable uh, immediately. So that's, that's not going to work. Because especially when you're going to a, a Titan area, all Guardian materials get shut down which we know I'm not taking an AFMU in there just to repair that thing not happen if I do that I might as well just get a giant ass gas tank and just call it good <laughs> and do the 27 jumps to get there that's that's how I feel about it not feeling it man not feeling the love on that all right come on let me get in here and then we're gonna see we're gonna oops jeez. Sorry about that. I don't think I don't think that was on, so that's good. Alright, let's go in. Yay! Alright, we're gonna try something. We're gonna try a couple something. Hello, Commander. Please stay aware of other I am aware. A manual docking. Oh come on, man. You already know I can manual. I mean, I played this game when they didn't have the computer, okay? Besides, it's hard to manually dock with the computer on. I have to go turn off the computer. Let's see, manual docking. This is all he cares about. This is what this is what my friends care about. They care about manual docking. That's why I put the auto docker on there, was just to piss them guys off. Where is it at? Request docking. Asking now. You didn't say I couldn't do that. Hee oh, hee. Hee hee. See? You didn't say I had to do a manual request. Oh, did I hit the wrong one? I did. Okay. I'm not fast. This is not, I'm not one of them kids that can just land like in two seconds on these things. I don't do that. Okay. This is going to get Strider all excited. Oh. Hold on. Went too far. Welcome back. Okay, you happy now? You happy? Can I use the auto docker now? Landing complete. Commence shutdown. All right. Welcome to our carrier, Commander. You guys don't even know what I have to go through around here, okay? 
I'm just telling you. All right, let me just turn that back on before I forget. Okay, now let's go to carrier services. We need to, we need to look at some things. This ship is not light either, so it runs cold, but it's not that cold. And my kitty cat's here for, for snack. So I'm gonna have to deal with that. So let me deal with that just before she has a cow and starts clawing me. I'll be right back, Commanders. Hold tight. Kitty cat has been sufficiently treated. Treats. She likes treats. Um, so now let's look at. Whoo wee! This has been a rough day already, guys. So this thing, without engineering, I just don't see it. And it takes a lot of power too, which is gonna. It takes a lot of power. Just barely pushes my anaconda over the power limit. This is a cold anaconda. It wouldn't even... My big anaconda wouldn't... My uh, hot anaconda wouldn't care one little bit about that. Okay, we're definitely not using this thing. Okay, that thing's out of here. It was just for the funsies. Just for testing, right? And then... Oh, I need to put a... I think it was a hull reinforcement. What size was that? Five? Three? Four? I think it was a four. Two. Four. Man, I got lots of them. Okay. Was it a four or was it... A, okay, it was definitely a four. I got a bunch of stuff laying around. I took a lot of stuff off of stuff trying all these tests. Okay, so we're putting that back. All right, so that... Oh, it was the booster that was taking all the power. Not the thingy. Okay. Cold. So, if you want a cold ship, you have to engineer a certain way. So if you want a ship to run cold, there's a couple things you can do. Uh, low emissions on a power plant will get you there. Thermal spread will give you, uh, it'll help balance the thermal load. So that helps keep cool, right? On a thruster, this one does not have the cool drives on it. But if you go with clean drive tuning, and you could either use super conduits or something like that, but you could... If you go with clean drive tuning and like a super conduit, it's going to run you cold, but you're going to go much slower and you can't do fast side to side. Okay. So dirty drive tuning and drag drives is for purely for speed. And on an Anaconda, it's really important that you have as much speed as possible because they're so damn slow. Even Cyclopses can catch up to you. So you got to kind of give yourself any advantage you can but it still runs cold because of the other thing with the power plant okay on a frame shift you can't do anything on life support stuff like that you just run them light and then a power distributor now the power distributor 
Charge enhanced with super conduits kind of distributes the power to everything evenly, which is okay on this type of ship. And then the super conduits is another cooling. So this thing runs at about 18 uh, percent, and that's fine because you need, if you want to be less detected, less, I'm saying, not fully, you can't go fully invisible, at least not in the Titan area. You have to, you have to keep that cool if you you also if you're not cool enough and you get near the titan the titan will also uh yeah so if you get near the titan and you're over 20 the titan will automatically detect you. if you run into the titan if you shoot the titan if you do anything to it the titan will figure out hey you who are you come here commander let me see let me see there's a fly on my hull. I must get rid of it. So that's it. That's the, the parts that you really need. Sensors, if you just do, especially for a Titan lightweight, is fine. And that's just to help jump range. So there's little things you can do to your to your equipment to get it down. This is probably one of the most important ones if you want to run under 20, is the low emissions power plant with thermal spread. Anyway, so what we... Oh. Let's take a look before anybody else figures this out. Hold on a minute. I want to try something. See if it's possible to get this carrier. Hold on. I'm trying to find that place I was just at. What was it here? What is that? No, that wasn't it. No. No, it, it had to be this one. Why can't I don't know how to work this stupid thing? How do you get it closer? Okay, let me. I know what to do. We'll go over here. There. Okay, now can I see it now? No, still can't see it. There's a there's a thing down there. Let me go down there. Here, let's go this way. Still doesn't want me to see it. Oh, Jack. Can't get into a green system, but I'm pretty sure this is a gray system. Oh, what was it called? Fuck, I can't even remember the name of it now. Uh, how else can I see it? It won't be in my it won't be in my sphere. I don't think. Let me see if I can see it on the list. Yeah. Oh, no, it, it was gray this morning, so I don't know. Let me look. Yeah, that's it. That's the one I wanted, L-H-O-U. Let me find that. Kitty, go be a cat. You're done. I got. I took care of you already. L-H-O-W. L. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, see, it's... it's... Let me see if it lets me. Nope, can't do it. Okay, it's okay, it's still no no go on that. No go. I thought that was gonna be the one. Cause it was gray, so I thought, oh how cool. Cause it's actually it's gotta be in recovery though or something because uh you can go to the station there. I went to the station there and hung out for a minute, got some repair. Yeah, I was hoping I could jump a little closer. So you can base your ships out of there, you just can't uh so what's that? I need. You know what I need to do? I need L H O W. L H O W M A N S. Mans. Laomans. Yaman. So you could technically base out of there, maybe, and do it. Let me see if. Let me just. Let me just check. Because I was able to get to the system. Um, yay, you were. Hey, um, you were right. I confirmed that you were right. Um, yeah, the you can go to absolute zero, but I don't think that that because at the Titans now they can actually see you line of sight now, so you can't go completely invisible because they, they can still see you if they're looking at you. They turn their little, they turn their little pedals at you and go, 
wah, wah, and you, you've been seen. And a lot of things can see you. The scouts can see you. The size can see you. All the little things. Plus, they also send out these these uh, these missile-like things that go searching for shit. They're like called uh, hunters of some kind. They have those as well. So there's always stuff out there looking for you. You can't go completely invisible, but you can run cold enough that you can that you can move around quite nicely. Yeah, they in in a lot of places that may be true, but it definitely got changed at the Titans. There is definitely a line of sight at Titans, and that may have been a uh, that may have been an answer to getting rid of the glaives or something because the glaives are just killing. You know, the glaives are just mopping up the floor with the humans because they they just have too many powers. There's too many things to overcome. Like, oh my God, they turned off this. They did that. They turned off my thrusters. They turned off my FSD. They, you know, they went invisible. They, they they electrocuted my shields away. I mean everything. You just anything you can think of that could go wrong will go wrong with a glaive. So uh Yeah, that well I'm sure that that was in response to getting rid of the glaives. That was their balance. Yeah, that's because they got rid of the glaives. Because with the glaives there they didn't need that. But now without the glaives, yeah, they they don't want us hiding and stuff, you know. I mean, commanders try to hide all the time and stuff. They don't really want us hiding. They don't want. They want us out there, act reacting with the environment. And so we can hide, but only in the designated hiding places. There is one. There are some places you can nuzzle into on the Titan, but it doesn't protect you from the Taurus, so it's not worth it. So the best place to hide is out in the, is out in the rocks because you can fly in and around the rocks. Uh, Thargoids aren't real good at. Uh, the bigger Thargoids aren't real good at, you know, scooching around shit. You know what I mean? So they they get kind of, they get disinterested real quick. You can hide behind the rocks, but you can't hide, you know, even hiding on a Titan's not not really cool. So now, all right, so let's just say for the shiz and the giggles, we got rid of that thing. We're going to see if, well, and maybe this is how we do this. Yeah, you got to be careful. You can't. I tried to leave a ship sitting in there one night, one day, and eventually they found me and shot me down. Um, they uh, okay. So I'm gonna say we're gonna try. We're gonna try this next next trick, which is I'm gonna manually plot a route in there and see what I can do. Now the Conda doesn't say the Conda's got a huge gas tank though. So that's you know, that's a bu that's a bonus. Let me go to the galaxy map. Let's go over to to L H O W. L H O W. Wait. What was it called again? Hold on. I'll look I'll look it up. Oh, L H O U, sorry. L H O U. Lou, like Lou, Lumens. Okay. 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 Can you can we type again? Can I do that? Let me just I just need a U. Oh. L H O U. Yeah. Oh. Not U E. Just U. Lumens. Okay, can we get to that? Okay, so it's still two jumps to that but you could at least go to lumens right how many eight jump wait a minute oh it's because i don't have the booster now that's eight freaking jumps yo yeah this that is just no bueno man that is just zero in the bueno department there is no way in hell people are going to want to do that Cause it's just too far okay let me see if we can go back one there's places all over the place i'm just not sure so what's this one here oh oh what's this one why don't you show me what you is all right no now this one's not good but I'm, I'm just trying to find I can't believe that's the closest 
you can go. The jump range on this is just terrible. This is not good. How to control it? Uh, <laughs> you point. You just you stay on the stick and you drive it towards your target. Um, it's it's really it's really unstable right now. So it's not it's not ready for prime time. I'm telling you. Let me see about. Okay, let's go back one. Let me see if there's any system close to here. So kind of what you'd want to do. We're, we're just trying to figure out how to get to the Titan. And right now, the options are not great. There's not a lot of great options. I got an eight jump thing right now because my jump range is terrible. The jump range, my jump range is 12.41 light years. And that's prob maybe that's because of where I'm at. Maybe if I was at a different system, let me see if I can find something close. We'll get over there. We'll 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 try. Yeah, I don't. You know what, um, Riddick? Uh, don't buy one yet. Don't buy one yet. They're not ready yet. You're not. I, I I'd wait because I think they're gonna be able to be engineered or something. Because it's just the way they work right now, and the they cut your jump range over half, like two third, almost two thirds. So you can't really get anywhere. You can't go anywhere. So in in I don't think I don't recommend you buy one just yet. Let let uh, F Dev do some polishing. I don't think that they're done with this because if it's just going to stay like this, nobody's going to use it. Absolutely nobody will use it. It'd be completely worthless. Because the jump range is just dead. Yeah, and it's not made for that. It's not made for long term. You don't really need it. It's it's only it's you're not gonna make it to Hut Norval. Forget it. That's too far. Now you could cut off some of the time. You might be able to cut off 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> but that's it. You're not gonna it's not gonna is not uh, no. It's not for that. It's for short shorter jumps between you know, like when you come into a system and the place you need to get to is really far away because it's at a second or third star, that's the kind of thing that it's for. But not in that big of a distance. You need they need to be a reasonable distance. You know, I don't know, maybe maybe fifty thousand light years, maybe or you know whatever, but not maybe thirty thousand. But it's definitely not long, long range. Definitely, I would just stay away from it uh, until. Because I'm, uh, I'm sure that there's going to be a way to stabilize it, a little bit, and then uh, I know a lot of people don't mind, the, don't like the shaking. That part doesn't bother me. I'm so used to flying around like that. You go night night. You, go night night. Sorry, Kitty Cat has made it her life's mission to come and bother me right now. Come here. Come here. Let me pet your little fuzzy butt. Look at that butt. Yeah. There's no, no, there's nothing for it right now. It's raw, dude. They just put it out. It doesn't have anything to stabilize it. it you don't stabilize. You just fly really fast. And it's like a wild flying, too. You're like, wah! You know, when you're, because it's actually, it's over flying the ship, right? So the ship, is not even designed to go to this speed, right? So when you do that, the ship's kind of going, what the hell, bro? You know, you're not, it's, that's not going to happen right now. Because when you, when you go into silent running, that's actually to bring your uh, temperature outside down, and that disrupts people's radars, but you don't need silent running unless you're doing something sneaky like smuggling. Yeah, or trying to sneak up on something. You don't need silent running. Is, you also need to have heat sinks for that. You need heat sinks for this thing too, maybe. I haven't had to push it very long, but there are some little things. Yeah. 
12, 20, 24 light years from Oya jumps is better than A. Yes. So I'm trying to figure out how I can make that work. I think I can make it work if I can get over to that station. So maybe I could make it work from there. But right now, as it is, I can only I can't I can't do it from my current location. And that's gonna kinda hinder some things, but I would have to move my operations over to that station and then I can get in and out of there. Uh, the conflict in Oya is not today. Where the conflict is right now, the conflict is right um, here, here. Uh, that this is where you want to go. The it's Linksys Sector WUP uh, B5-0. That's where you want to go. And that's a spire site. That's not the oil. We don't. You do not need to. Uh, you do not need to um, go to oil this week. Next week. Next weekend is oil. Hey, are you still meowing down there? Hold on. All right. Go on. Sorry, my cat's here and she's very demanding. I don't know what she wants exactly, but she seems to like chin rubs at the moment. She's very. She's very. Uh, very crazy. Crazy cat. Come here. I love you. I love you. Yeah, I love you. But you need to go lay down. Yeah, I'm busy. I'm working. She's like, Pfft. she's like, the hell you are. So I'm wondering, maybe I should just take the, because it looks like I can make the eight jumps. I should put the, maybe I should put the Mamba. The Mamba runs out of gas quick. I don't even, let me look at the jump range on that Mamba. Because that's my, that's my one I want for the Titan. Let me look at, uh, let me take a look at that Mamba again. So the Mamba just was like, how about no? The Mamba has hardly any damn gas anyway. <sighs> All right. Sorry, Katie. Didn't mean you. Gotta get rid of the damn limpets first. Because they can't just ask me, do I want to put the limpets away? No, can't do that. God forbid. Oh, she brought you lizards. Oh, Kai, that's cute. When find military plating. Where to find military grade? Um, well, it's a good question. Pretty much anywhere. Um, you know how to use Anara, Riddick? It's time you graduate. You gotta start using Anara. Because that's how you're gonna find that stuff. Do I look like I know anything? I don't know nothing. But you need to start using INARA.CZ. Go in there. I can show you real fast, maybe. Uh, Anara. I N A R A dot C Z. And then you go into uh, un either under date. Ah! Quit. Uh, search nearest. So you want to go to like on here, you go into data, search nearest, and go to outfitting. And then you put in here what you want. And you said military grade armor. There you go. Military grade composite. And then different style, whatever ship you're looking at, which I think you were saying crate mark two. And then you can tell it where you are. If you hook if you connect the game to this site, then it'll know where you're connected to. But whatever system you're at, it'll go to the nearest star system to where you're at. So you put that in, you can either type it in or you can just, it'll, like I said, if you hook up the game, then you can do it. And then you got your crate and then you tell it what, so you, the minimum landing pad for you, a uh, crate is a medium. And then you just hit search and boom, there's all the places you can buy it. If you were at where I'm at, but you're not where I'm at. And also look for things like this. There's discounts sometimes in different places. 
So you can buy cheap cheap hard points out here. I don't know what kind of hard points, but there's hard points. So yeah. Then that's how you do it. So that's where you're at. That's where you're at, Riddick. That's how you find stuff. But you want to change it. You want to make sure it's near your star system, not mine. So you want to find your star system, put your star system in there. And it'll come up, like if you type, you know, let's say you're at, let's say you're at Diagondry, which is where I usually go for everything. Diagondry. You can find all kinds of places near Diagondry. And here you go. Diagondry's in the bubble. Look at all that. There's, there's discounts up the wazuti for that stuff. Military grade. Look at that. 15% off. All over, man. It's like this is like shopping on Amazon, baby. My kitty, I don't let her outside because there's coyotes, and I don't want the coyotes to get her. I know she thinks she's tough, but I think a coyote is too much is too much for her. So I'm afraid to let her out there. All right. So now that we've graduated Sir Riddick to Anara, I N A R A dot C Z in your browser. That's your place, man. Start a learning it, because that's this is one of the best tools in the world for finding stuff. That's how you find stuff. Go to data, search nearest, go to outfitting on the tab, put your star system in, or connect your account to Anara, and then search. And it will tell you everything you need to know. And especially you want to look for these 15% discounts, man. Because discounts are important. The less you pay for stuff on your ship, the less your ship is worth when you have to rebuy it as well. Okay? All right. Sorry. Sidetrack. Now, we got rid of the limpets, right? Got rid of them. Okay. Cancel that. Cancel that. We're going to look at this mamba one more time. Because this mamba, this was, this is my bomber ship. I want to take that thing in there. Oh, wrong one. I do that. Let's go ahead and look at uh, there, Suzaku. Yeah, let's check out Suzaku. Because Suzaku took a freaking beating on Jump Ranger, man. And Suzaku has zero gas tank. So either way, both of those are out of, out of the running on this thing. It's just not going to happen. Um, but bigger ships, yeah. And we will, we'll continue with the Anaconda in a minute. Let me, I don't, I didn't check to see if I can buy limpets there. Oh, well. All right, so carrier services. We'll look at the fitting again. And, no, no. Uh, optional internal. Oh, I got to get this fuel scoop off here. I took it somewhere yesterday. What is that, a four? Oh, reinforcement. What's the biggest one I can put in here? It's a 4D. Where is it? Okay. Yep, yeah, four and four. Okay, we need that. We don't need a fuel scoop. We're not going to use a fuel scoop. That's just no bueno. We've got the drive in here I believe yeah the SEO drives in the jump range is 8.71 even if I was at that closest star that thing was like 9 something so the Mamba would completely not work with this drive not as in its current form now if it gives us if they give us a way to engineer it okay then we can do it but until then that is no boy, no. So we're just going to put his regular thing back on her. Okay, back to the anaconda. Now, the anaconda is not set up to be a, a bomber ship. Man, it would be slower than, that thing would be slower than molasses. It's not, it's not made. So, let, okay, let's do this. Let's go crate, crate two. Let's look at the crate two and see what we can get out of it. Cypher. This is my... Well, it was. I don't know if it still is. Let me see if it's still Match all engineered. Because I might have took that off there. Depending. 
hard points, utilities, core internals, core optional. Okay, so it does have one guardian hull. I don't think I have a replacement for that. Uh, not a, not an engineered version. So I could engineer up a three if I needed to. But since it's, since it's in the name of science, we'll leave that hole because I'm not so sure if I'm not so sure how how fast the hole will degrade. We'll have to look. But or we can just or actually I can just put on a three D that's not, and that would take care of the whole problem. There you go. I just need to get it engineered. Okay. I may have enough parts to do one more. One more 3D, maybe. Okay, so now we're all engineered, right? And what we need, though, is that FSD drive, which may or may not... Okay, so the SCL is on here. The jump range, 10.48. That is just barely enough. So I could get in there with this ship from that first system that's closest and that is insane okay but it could be done this thing could be made into a bomber easily enough I just gotta change out I could change out one of these lasers and just go for a uh, go for an anite torpedo which side is that on which side would I want it on I'd want it on this side. So we could just replace this one module with a nanite torpedo if I still have any out. There's a two. There you go. Now it's a bomber. It's a hot bomber though. It ain't no cool bomber. This thing runs hotter than a volcano. Okay, so it's 10.51. We got plenty of power. This thing was originally designed for Guardian Tech. This Guardian Tech does not melt. Okay, this one's got a special nanite covering or something some bullshit that they came up with so we could make this a bomber and like I said we could get it in there from the first planet so from Lu Lu Lumons we can get it in there from there and we could operate out of there the only thing I'm not sure about is Let's find out how we do with limpets on it. This is, the, this is totally unorthodox, guys. I'd have to re-engineer this whole thing if I wanted to make it a bomber. I'd rather make a... Yeah, the 535 is not terrible. So it runs at 535. It's a little bit slower than a, than a mamba. And, uh, and it's slower than a... It's slower than all my other bombers, even the orca. The orca is even faster. Um, the, uh, what was I doing? I don't remember now. Oh, limpets. I need limpets. Sorry, I was in the wrong place. All right. I knew I'd think of it in just a second because this one needs a little bit of limpy. Yeah, we need, we're going to take, we're going to try it all the way up to 32, see what happens. We might do less. Let's see how much, how much that screws me up. What's it at now? Okay, so it's at 970, so I'd have to take less limpets probably. I'd probably want a half. I'd limp it half. I think 9.7 was pretty close to that jump range, but man, it'll be completely out of gas, I think. Or no, it won't. It should be fine. It's, yeah, it would be better if I was closer. But I definitely would go with less limpets. I don't really need them. I don't need that many anyway. Um, let's, go ahead and, let's go ahead and set that in half. Too much. I'm going to go down to 16. Confirmed. Okay, now. Well, I didn't know getting in there was going to be this tough. Let's see what now. Let's see where we're at. I know there's other ways to look at this, but I like looking at it right here. 10.5, 9.90. So it should be enough to get me from that station. I go back and forth from there, I think. 
or I can just dump the rest of my limpets and it'll go up to 10 something. So, yeah. So as long as I, if I don't, if I use any limpets, that's fine. So we're good. Let's find out now what we got to do to get over there. Let's see. You got to go to Galaxy Map. We need to, we need to, I'm going to bookmark blue for now. L. Lumens. Let's go ahead and. Uh... Okay, so it's purple. Is it? Is it purple? I think it's purple. So that means it's in recovery. That's why it's the way it is. So by next week, though, it should be open. You might be able to jump there. Um, let's see. Uh... Let's look at the. Yeah, it's purple. I thought it was gray. I was mistaken, as usual. So Ryan. There's a lot of ports in here. Look at all these ports. Okay, let's go to this one. There are no carriers here. Because I'll bet you this place would be full up if there were carriers. All right, so let's, let's, let's bookmark that. We got it plotted. And we're just going to take the hit. Even though it's 11 jumps, it's still... Um, I still have enough fuel to get over there. Right? So you can see that on the... You can see that on the map, too. Like, if you look at your... The line, the line is solid to, oh, wait, maybe I can't make it over there. I can make it to here. Oh, that's where I'm at. Okay, no, no, it's fine. Yeah, okay. I'm oh, sorry, I was looking at it backwards. So, it, yeah. So, yeah, we got to go all these jumps over there. But we can get there. And then we can make that the base operations for this ship. And, yeah, basically, we're good. Okay, so let's do that. I don't know if we can get limpets over here. That's the only downside, is whether or not this week, I don't know if I can get limpets or not. So it may not be great for this week. Um, i trying to think what else. Yeah, if we want to travel faster or further, we have to we have to have no limpets. But I want to take limpets just in case I can't get them when I get over there, which will change my whole thing again. Change my whole mind again. Okay. Let's go. Let's just go. Are we good? Are we good? Oh. One other thing. What's on this thing? There's a beam and a nanite. Okay. Those actually need to be on two. No, no, I was right the first time. No, is that right? Do, do, dee do, dee do. Okay, no, it has to be the other way. Two, two. I'm trying, I'm, I'm thinking about what my thumb's doing right now. Where does my thumb go to fire them things? Twos, and then one, one, one. And then what's this on? Enhanced Xeno Scanner. Don't necessarily need that. I'm just going to shut it off. I can turn that thing off anyway. And then let's just make sure how many caustics we got. We One, two. We have plenty. How many heat sinks? Any heat sinks? We might need some heat sinks. I don't see any on that. Let's check that out because we definitely might want some heat sinks. At least one. Well, no, we want at least, we might want two. Let me see what the utilities are. Oh, it doesn't have very many, that's why. Okay, so we don't need this scanner. Oh, we need the TG. See, I'm glad I looked. Yeah, because we need to put the TG on. We need that one. And then we need to get rid of this one. And we can just put a heat sink on it. Okay, now we should be okay. It's not the greatest configuration, but it'll work. Okay? All right. Yeah, this is totally just me taking a ship and refitting it to go do this real fast. All right, here we go. Sorry, sorry for the delay, guys. I'm coming. I'm coming. It's coming out. We're going in Cypher. We're going in a crate. More people have crates than they do anacondas. 
here's another ship that I have. I don't, it doesn't run cold though. This one doesn't run cold either. So these are not great bombers, okay? We are going to get attacked, and attacked often we will. Just totally fine. This is all for science. We need to make a stop over at that station. Oh, 10.1. Hold on, let me see if I can remap that. God dang. This thing is just killing me, man. Uh, was it a body or a station? Did I save it? I didn't even bookmark it. God. J or L. L H O U. All right. Okay, I cannot take limpets. That's a bummer. Okay, all right. Let me turn around, go back. Where the hell's my ship? All right, wait a minute. I did a complete one. 360 there, and my ship is, my ship's missing. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Do you want to see another, uh, another, heart, uh, another non-guided landing there, Strider? Or are you okay after the Anaconda? Anaconda is a big ship, hard to land. These things are gonna crash them right into the deck. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You have been cleared for approach. Feel free to relax. Your docking. Hold on, we can't take I can't take limpets. It's screwing me up. Man, this is rough. This is the roughest thing I've ever had to do. Once I get there I should be able to put some limpets on. Not very many. This is really awkward. This is really weird. I'm sure that this I'm is what Alex. this is gonna be intended for. But I'm also sure it's going to need to be engineered. There's no way. There's no way this is where we're at. Because then these things are completely worthless. Without an FSD booster, which we can't use with the Titans anyway. Alright, so. Okay, purchase or sell. We're going to get rid of the limpets. We should be at over 10 now. Oh, I didn't want it to call the Vic Oh well. We're gonna get there one way or another. And like I said, by next week, if this is clear, if this is cleared out, then you should be able to, uh, yeah, 10.48, I might be able to make it down. All right, one, navigation. Navigation. Galaxy map. There we go. And then L H O U. I mean, if anybody has any other other ideas, let me know. Cause it's this is rough. I was gonna bookmark that. Yeah, just save that, just in case. All right, now we're going to plot the route to it. Okay, it says it's plotted. 11 jumps. God, six keeps getting worse and worse. All right, let's see if it'll let me do it. If we can get over there, we can at least start our have a base of operations and, without the carrier, but. And I may or may not. Yeah, I think by next week, maybe this will be clear. And then it won't be such a problem. Anybody like my thumbnail that I made for this show? Okay, let's try it. Speed restrictions have been lifted. Take care 
that there, Commander. I'm taking care. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm trying to think if I forgot Jumping anything else. Two, I'm not doing good. <laughs> this is very confusing. I'm trying really hard to make this work, but it's not going well. It works okay in the bubble, though. Exit destination confirmed. And maybe Arrive it's really just not for AX, but the only other thing it could be for is uh, power play. But even with that... I don't know. I don't see how it's going to be useful if the jump range is too low for anybody to do anything. It's got to have engineering. I'm telling you. I'm just saying. It's got to have it. All right, let's get out of here. We got to make a few jumps to get to the place. And if we can't buy limpets, this thing is a throwaway. It becomes a throwaway ship at that point. Vectors. This is the, absolutely the closest place we can go. And it's in recovery. And I don't know how, re how long recovery lasts. I'm having the feeling that most people are just going to table these until we get some kind of uh, engineering for it. I suppose it is. But like I said, if this one, if uh, the one where we're going to opens up, I'll uh, I'll just put my stuff there. But I think that we still, there's got to be some kind of an engineering thing going. Because otherwise it's kind of worthless. Um, right, as in its current form, I feel like it's not for an easy. Can't use, uh, we can't use the boosters out here. I already tried it. It melted that sucker. That thing was like a bunch of goo coming out. There was goo coming down, trying to get on my head and stuff. It was gross. It's just not, it's not working. All right, so. Let's keep going. We're just going to keep going. Well, we'll get some, well, we may or may not live. I'm not planning on assaulting the Titan, I guess, so. I'm more just interested in seeing how fast we can get to it. Hopefully, <laughs> without running out of fuel, that would be great. Because the problem is already we're we're gonna use we're gonna expend quite a bit of fuel just getting over to this system. I'll have to look at that one, guys. Yeah, an AFM. Well. An AFMU will not Confirming be worthless if you get into Stand the by. if you get into the maelstrom first. So you'd have to go into the maelstrom to repair it. But by the time you come back out again, it would melt it probably. You may not even be able to do it. I'm sorry, I keep wanting to uh, fuel scoop because that's that's what my brain thinks we're doing, but it's not. I would really love to build a Palmer out of a Phantom. I have a Phantom already, but I don't want to change it. I built it for speed and distance. Yeah, the the only yeah you'd have to make like a paper thin ship, probably to get that jump range up high enough to make it worthwhile. It's just not it's not it's not viable. At least not that I can tell. Not yet. I have to wait till the actual smart commanders figure some things out. But so far, I have not heard not a good word about the... And I think it's because most people just wanted to go to Hutton Orbital in five minutes. But, you know, that's, that's, that was just... That's not a thing. And there's no free anacondas there either, just in case you... Especially you, Riddick, don't... There's no free anacondas at Hutton Orbital, so don't fall for that. Two, one. Yep. Riddick has graduated to Anara. Yay. Good job, Riddick. 
Now he's now he's playing with the big boys. He's getting into Woohoo! I don't know. I'm not that worried about this because I've already I already I, I'm just gonna kill the crap out of boy. I don't care if, how I gotta get there. But this is for science, okay? So we're doing it for science. And 07, all you quiet folks that are watching secretly. Shh. I appreciate you. Alright. Oh, forgot what I was doing again. I do that. You guys gotta watch me. I, I, I get distracted easily. I started looking at numbers over on the other screen. I was like... And my brain went pew, right out the window. Friendship. No anomalies detected. Framing, baby. It's framing. This is the this is the smallest I feel like I'm driving in a sidewinder. Brings back Confirming old memories. Point telemetry. Stand by. Yeah. I'm just here for the data, man. Alright. You know what I need to do? I need to get Windrunner. Put Windrunner over here too. Or did it? No, why? See, I'm not even used to um, this many jumps to a Titan. <laughs> I'm just, I am spoiled rotten, dude. I am spoiled rotten. Yeah. Yeah, I just didn't have time to do all this yesterday. I had other, I did pick it up. Yeah, I went and found out, you know, like I found out that there was several different versions of this. I mean, there's just there's there's all the way from like three to seven. Might even be a two. I don't remember, but I know there's a three to seven. I'm just like my brain is totally like trying to work out how to how we're going to be able to mitigate this, or if we're just going to have to wait and see if they put out a an engineering uh, part for it. I say the pilot should demand engineering for this unit because it's terrible. We need engineering. And, 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 you know, in their defense, this is probably their way of testing it to see if it's balanced. But yeah, it sucks. Can confirm. Suckage. 100% suckage. Jumping to next you guys didn't like my Barbie spaceship on the my Barbie in the spaceship no, no, on the thumbnail. I thought that was cute. I was trying to be funny. <laughs> I try to tell jokes, guys. You guys are just too damn serious. Scanning for anomalies, none detected. I like to have fun while I'm playing. Not just all. You must press F1, and you must pull out the weapons in order. You cannot deviate from these things, or you will be killed. Okay. Used to be like that, though. I used to be very strict about, especially in guilds and wings and stuff. My friends go, I drive them nuts. Because I'm telling, because I always do the FC. All right, three, two, one, fire, you know, and whatever. It, it, yeah, it's a thing. Because these guys, they're all loose cannons. Most pilots are just loose cannons. They're just... They just, they're used to doing their own thing, do whatever they want. But when other people are around, you got to kind of work in a group. Now, me, personally, I can sit there and watch them and just kind of figure out what they're doing and then just follow what they're doing. And that Confirming works out, exit too. exit point telemetry, stand by. You can do that, too, if, you, if, you, if you're acclimated towards that kind of thing. Hey, we're at lose. We're going to lose, lose bar, man. We're going we're gonna to get in there. Look at we didn't run out of gas. We're okay. We're doing great, commanders. I already know you can refuel, rearm. The only thing I'm not sure about is limpets. And if there's no limpets, this place is kind of worthless. Definitely can't. Definitely there will be 75 carriers here in 30 seconds if this thing releases next Thursday. Tick. This one will be full. Which means anybody that's not there will not be able Key to use this, uh, levels readying for this FSD drive. Which I think would be really fun. 
And I hope that, that what I'm saying there, the purpose is, is what the purpose is, but they just need to make it a little bit more palatable. A little bit, a little bit too much. I mean, most, most devices when we first get them, the unengineered ones are pretty crappy. This one happens to be extra crappy because it takes like a gazillion pounds of fuel. Now see, we could do this right here. Let's see how close we can. Whoa! Look at how fast we went by that sucker. Whoa! Yeah, baby. Yeah, we're way past it now. Wow. That was awesome. I'm gonna run out of gas for you. Jesus, man. How far away did we get? Whoa. That's not bad. Okay. We did okay. It looked like we went like 3,000 miles past it, but we made it. Yeah, it works. Works, commanders. Just not quite ready for prime time just yet, but it will be. It could still work in the bubble. In the bubble, I think that this thing will work fine. And AX, not so good yet, but I'm almost positive they had to do this for AX. And it's going to be a fully engineered setup for us to get it. And they don't really need it. Oya is okay. It would be great if we had it for Oya, but Haddad is the one that's going to be the that one's going to sit there for 800 years if they don't give us a way to get to that one. Because that one's far away from the sun. It's way too far from the sun. All right, man, we really, we really, really jumped the goat on that one. Did you guys see that? That was crazy. That was crazy. All right, we're going in here. Did I already scan this? Spinning, fella. What you spinning? Oh. Here it is. Thank you. Thank you. It's over here somewhere. Is that it? Okay, yeah, this one's got the alert. Oh, that's not it. Oh, for Pete's sakes, where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, this thing looks all bunged up. Let's take a look at this thing. Sorry, I just have to. Cause I've not. Oh, look at this thing. Is all. It's all goited, man. It's goited up. Look at it. It does not look good. But you can get in. And auto dock, I think. Yep. All right, the auto docker works, guys. This is a great place to hang out. Yeah, this thing is goited out. Man, this ugh, it looks nasty. Look at all that green slime on everything. Ugh. Caustic damage. Ooh. Caustic damage everywhere. All right, we're going in hot, boys. I just want to make this... Hopefully, this will be this ship's base of operations right now once I get her landed, and then we just need to see if we can pick up limpets here. If not, this place is kind of worthless, but we can still... We still screw around with the frameship drive, but but if we get dead, at least we come right back here. All right, woo. Let's see what we got in here again. I looked a minute. Landing complete. Dispatching ground crew. Shut up. I don't know how many limpet. Oh, look at that, boys. All right, we can take a couple limpies with us. I don't know how many. Maybe not all of them. Can't go 32. We'll take 10. We'll see if we can get there with 10. Okay. Superintendent. Boy, he's all, he's geared up, man. He ain't joking around, that guy. All right. Let's see. Now we need to go, now we need to mark and see if we can get with 10 limpets. If we can get over to the damn Oya, oh yeah, see if we can get there. Can we get there? Sorry, I like to I like to go all the way. Okay. Okay, it plotted the route. Okay. Ten limpets is acceptable. I think sixteen would be fine, but I don't want any more delays. We're gonna go. 
Let's go. We're gonna we're going in hot, boys. This is not a great bomber, okay? This is not designed for bombing. Now, the cooler the ship, the probably the cooler the ship runs, it probably helps with that drive temperature as well. Because if your ship runs cold naturally, then it will. Um, so you'd want to have your <clears throat> you'd want to have your uh, your power uh, power plant and distributor probably need to be cool to keep this drive in check but I don't know I don't have a I don't have anything set up to do that so if some other wonderful commanders out there test that this week and find out let me know that'd be great I appreciate you even more than I do now. okay we're gonna go full engines ahead all right we're coming in hot boys I'm gonna see how long how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Titan right now. It's hot. It's on. Only two hours and 19 minutes in. We're ready to go. Course Buckle course. up, commanders. Ziggy, battle stations. Red alert. We're going in hot, boys. Attack protocol alpha. Hyperspace checking Deploy. systems now. Nice. Complete. Going in, we're going in, we're going in. They're trying to pull us out. They're like, no, 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 no. You cannot go in there. No, you cannot go in there. Our friend is in there. Oh, shit balls, dude. Oh. Oh, man, they're already on me. I think they are way too close. Okay. Okay, okay. Just give me a minute. Just give me a second. Give me a second. What are we doing? We're over 500. We're good. 5.30. We are. Should be good enough. All right. We should not. Hopefully, we don't get mass locked. Come on. Come on. Get me out of here, man. 5.30. We're doing good. She's doing way better than the condors. Come on. Oops. I went a little early. A little early. Hang tight. Here we go. We're out of here. Ugh. Bust that. Cyclops. Yeah, what you got now? What you got now? You ain't got nothing. All right, we're going in hot, boys. Now, just remember, you can get these in any size for any ship. And that's another reason why I think engineering is going to be key. Because there's just no way. No way in hell. Anybody's going to be able to use this thing in its current state. Hyperspace. Checking well, systems now. Okay. Complete. There's probably like one commander that will show up everybody. You ready? We're going to burn rubber, man. 6.1. Oh, they freaking... Oh, they still got me. Okay, so they you can still be interdicted with that. Okay, hold on. This is, this is where we got into trouble last time. Commander, what are your orders? Yeah, we didn't even get anywhere. They, they snatched me out of the air. They snatched me. Well, definitely isn't isn't preventing those interdictions, I'll tell you that right now. It's not a thing. Let's go. Now let's see, we're gonna I'm not touching the throttle. We're gonna see if it's still in super uh, overdrive when I get back in here. I wanna see. Okay, it's not. Okay, good. Yeah, we're in. We're in. We are in. You know what it does is it turns uh, flight assists off. That's what it's done. Wow, that was a hell of a jump, though. Wow, okay. Well, that was certainly different. There's your test, boys. It does work. You just got to be super close to the damn star. Or you got to be... Sorry. You could probably do it multiple times. Oh, it's not quite far enough. But yeah, that's pretty cool. But it's still freaking useless till we get a jump range. Till we get an engineered jump range, it's just not going to happen. So what they'll probably come out with first is they'll let Felicity take you up to like three or some stupid thing. It'll be dumb. It always is. Sorry, I thought I was hitting the gravity well, but I'm not. Okay. Ooh, look at that. 
What do you mean? I discovered something? This thing's got a lo longer scan in one. Huh. Okay. Alright. Yeah, we're going in hot, baby. Yeah, we hit a well. We hit a well, I know. But I'm just I'm just trying to see if we can do this. Okay, let me try one more. Ooh. <laughs> ah, see that? See that, oh yeah? I, bo I boosted just enough to get in your range. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're going to mess you up. This is our first test run. This is I feel like that Star Trek movie when the first contact. I feel like this is that. You know what I mean? Where we just discovered... <laughs> where, where humans just discovered hyperdrive. Not super cruise, hyperdrive. Alright? Super cruise is slow. This is like... Woohoo! Alright, so it does make a difference though. We cut off a lot of time. And I didn't get pulled over as much. But I did get yoinked immediately. Uh, and we're just gonna... We're gonna stop here. We're gonna go in. Because this is not a bomber, okay? This is... You can go to the Titan in this thing. But that's not what we're trying to do here. We're trying to ch test that drive. So we're going to turn this around. We're going to turn around the bus. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. That sun is amazing. It's so purple. They are beating Oya up. That is noises from... Oh, yeah, they're down there and they're killing it. Now look, that this is, I think this is open as well, so... Yay. Now we gotta find... We gotta navigate back to our station. So that is bookmarked under... Somewhere. I think it's under... It might should be under stations. Ryman, there it is. And we can make it home. So yes, this is a viable station to use. Not with carriers yet. But I can guarantee you that once people find out they can put carriers in here, this place will load up like you've never seen. There will be like 87,000 carriers. As many carriers as they can squeeze in here, they're going to get them all in here. So if that's the case, you may want to park just a little further out and then jump your ship over to Luz. Because Luz is close enough in a crate. Probably in a Chieftain because they're very similar, right? Now, littler ones, the Mamba and the Orca and the Imperial Clippers. Not so sure those are going to be viable for this. But we can we can try it. Uh, well, I, I can I got to make some adjustments. I got to ship. I got to. That's another thing we got to see if we can do. Um, is it already did I go right to the station yeah okay all right so let's go ahead we're gonna go back real quick we got to see what else we can do here good good okay yeah the cutter or the clipper cutter yeah the cutter is probably fine I have a cutter I can use but it's not cold it's hot but it's fast it's not as fast as the clipper, though. I could probably do it in the clipper, but I'll have to look at the clipper and take a look at them. They're trying to... Oh, you know what? That's new. I think that's new because you... it used to not spawn uh, Thargoids out here in the safe zone, in the Goldilocks zone. I think they fixed that. <clears throat> Jumping to next system. Because usually I would not. Well, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in open, so it's hard to say if that's true. But I'll, I'll try it again later in solo and see. Because I'm just going to go in there. I'm just going to go in there and get my two million, and and then I'll probably do some streams where I do longer. Whoa! What the hell was that? Is that my drive resetting? Ooh. 
They need a cool down on here so you can see it. Put it down there in the, in the thing. Put it next to where the FSD one is. Oh, shit. Guess it's not going to stop loops of shame, that's for sure. Alright, so. Yeah, they need a cool down so we can see it. Come on, guys. Put some put some flash on it. Come on. We want to see the, the loop of shame. We want to see the cool down. So we know when we can hit the button again. Up I, I didn't see it. Did any of you guys see a cooldown? I didn't see it. I would think it would be over there. That's the first place my eyes went to, was down there, where the FSD cooldown is. You want it next to it because the FSD cooldown, the FSD cooldown, you need. You'll probably end up having that active a lot of times too, at the same time. So Ryman Enterprise, that's where you want to head for next week. This week, we got to go to the Spire Sets. Yay! Don't have my phone. Damn it. <laughs> All right, fine. All right, so we're in. Okay, we're in Ryman. Fortunately, and this is a really... This is a really rare situation because... I don't know that all the Titan attacks are going to have this kind of setup. This one does, but I can't say they all will. Yeah, okay, I thought the hulls would be okay, but I just didn't want any more delays, so I might put the Guardian one back on. I'm not going to use this ship for bombing runs anyway. All the ships I use for bombing runs are already engineered all the way. All right, boys and girls, I'm going to let this thing park. Hopefully it won't crash into anything. And hopefully nobody's blocking my pad here. And then I'll be right back. i got to take a little break. All right? Give me a few minutes, commanders. I'll be right back. Go sevens. Be right back, okay? Don't go nowhere.
initiated. Alex online. There's some shit going on in here. What the hell is going on? I should probably get out of open so that if other commanders need to borrow the pad. But that's just for the giggles and the stuffs. So we're fine. We made it. That's good. Crates are fine. I'm absolutely sure that the cutter will be able to do it. Um, cutter's got tons of gas. And I have one. But here's another thing you can do. So if you go to Starport Services, I think, let's see if it'll let us call... So all you gotta do is get here. So you come in here in any ship, but then you can actually go to your ships and say you wanted to, you know, say we wanted to bring over a ship that's already set up to go battle. Bring in one. You can you can call it over. So if I wanted to call this one, so you can actually literally transfer. So this is what I call FedEx on your ships. So if you if I wanted to bring my bomber over here, I could do it, but I'm not. I'm, I'm pretty sure, like I said, let, until they engineer it, I'm just going to table it. But um, that's what I would do. And then, and then you just then you have your long distance traveling ship, go back to your carrier, and then or whatever. So you don't have to have a carrier right next door. In most cases, now I'm not going to say it's all cases, but in most cases, there's probably a system. And even the ones in recovery, I guess, are okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, well, it's just unengineered. I'm pretty sure they're going to have to put engineering on this thing. To make it viable for AX, it's going to need engineering. Now, how long it'll take before they engineer it? It'll probably be before we hit Hadad. <laughs> so they know what we're doing. We know what they're doing in some cases. It may not have been intended for Oya. But Oya is a little bit one where you could try it. But that's not the one. Hadad is the one. that, And, and, and then, like I said, and then later on, like I said, it would be okay for, like, younger pilots to be able to, to if they can. Now, this one... I I didn't well the first interdi it hit me with the first interdiction before I actually was in I think before but it was like real close you know what I mean so I'm not 100% sure that it avoids all interdictions but I didn't get interdicted a second time I can tell you that some gun was gone it was like pew so this is not its final form I'm going to go out of limb say this is not the final form Yeah, and that's fine too. Map farming sucks, so I don't know what you how you mean. Oh, you mean like in the systems where the raw materials are? Because the raw material systems are usually pretty far away from the damn sun as well. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, there's going to be different things that come up, but you got to let commanders have commanders need time to figure out what's going on. Oh, you mean you mean like uh, hot Jupiter? I'm trying to think of where you're thinking of. What's far away from the sun? Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean there's going to be different uses, and it'll, it'll probably come in handy for some commanders. But the jump range is absolutely abysmal. There is no way that they can leave it like that unless they only want, you know, the newbies to use it. But or maybe it'll be useful in something in power play. But it's going to make people have to jump a lot more. And I think the whole idea is not to have them jump a lot more. 
because nobody likes to do that anymore. And in that case, it's a useless module. And I don't think FDev barely ever makes anything that's completely useless. I mean, it has a purpose, whether or not you choose to use it for that. But yeah, for right now, I'm not I'm not thrilled. But you can transfer other ships here, transfer them over to Ryan or wherever the hell Ryan, man. and then you can work right out of here. You'll be right next door to the Titan. You can jump in there, do the super fast skippy thing, do your business, get out. You can get you can get your limpets here. You can get everything here. So how many you can carry, stuff like that. There's a lot of there's still some questions, but it's definitely needs to have engineering because otherwise I think it's just going to be worthless, even if it's only to level three. Because I I feel like they need to get that jump range at least to like twenty before it's even viable. And I just don't think you could build a ship. We're not at least not aware of one yet. A ship that will have super duper jump range. And and also have this drive on it. So, interestingly enough, that's how that's where we're at, commanders. Let me uh, dump out the. Let's just dump out the down limpets. Okay, because we're not going. We're not actually going to assault the Titan today. Okay. So, it's not important today. Now I'll watch that. I'll watch that little dial. If it goes, if it starts going like a bat out of hell, I don't think it will this week. It'll have to be next week. So we still got some systems to clear, and um, let's check up on Oya. Yeah, so they're moving it, but it's still real slow. It's still a very high damage resistance. But by next week, it should be at, uh, what do they call that, compromised? Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't move unless you could get in here. I wouldn't move that close. And, and the, the other problem with moving right now is that there's probably no close to the sun parking spots. So it's kind of shitty. But another thing, that's another thing it can help with too, is when you get to your system where your carrier is, if your carrier is like way out in the boonies, you could use this drive to get to it quicker. We can do that here, but I'm going to have to go back. So I got to go target something. Let's see if we can get a map. Yep, we can get all the way back. Look at all that. It looks like you, like, come on, man. I just want to go from here to here. Come on, man. What's up? Yeah, it's it's difficult right now. It's very difficult, but you know, and it gives the devs time to take a look at things, and uh, you know, fix up anything you need. But I'm telling you right now, that station right there, if you're gonna want to do that kind of assault, I'd come right there. For me, I'm probably just gonna be, I'm just gonna be status quo, keep them in storage for now. Yeah. Yeah, so you don't want to... Yeah, that's the only time these drives are going to be worthwhile. But you can't use them full speed ahead the whole time. Which is why I don't understand. I got to see... Did anybody look and see if there's a way to toggle the the boost switch so that you can have it where you hold the button rather than it being an on-off? Because that would be kind of cool. You should have it to where you can just hold the button and let it go. Because that would be easier to control as far as... Because right now you're just like flying, ah, and then you just hit the button and it comes up. I'd like to have it to where I just hold it, and when I'm done with it, I let it go. Or have the other option to where you just turn it on and off. But I don't think it's made for long distance. Not yet. Now maybe with engineering, maybe with engineering it could go longer, in which case, you know what I mean? I don't think that this drive is in its amount of form. And it's also a drive C, so... No matter what, it's still not going to ever be as much, as good as a drive A, but it should still be have a much better jump range. I put some bets on the table. I know they're going to let us engineer that. They're just, it's just not useful right now. 
But Oya is not the most important test case for this. It's safety uh, protocols for exit. It's the other one. It's the big boy. Which I can't remember his name right now for some reason. But we'll get back home. I'm wondering if you can get past the you can just use it just to like boost past the star so your temperature will go down <laughs> see i'm already finding things to do with it it's kind of crazy though it's it is the reason why it looks like it's wobbling is because you're it's turning off your uh it's turning off your um so, uh, the flight assist it's turning that off Key systems are at optimal levels. That's Ready why your ship looks now. like it's going all over. It's not really just wiggling. It's your flight assists off, so any little teeny weensy movement you make will uh, drive it. Because if you if you point right at this sucker and you hit it, see it's not wobbling. It's just that the flight assist's off, so you have to control it. And I can't see the power. The it. Well, I can't. I don't know what the the cooldown's like because they don't have a cooldown indicator. It needs one though. Adjusting for jump. That thing's awesome. No, it, it's really dangerous right now because of the amount of fuel it uses. So you're really going to have to be to use it sparingly. And you're going to have to, like I said, there's, we're going to have to learn how to do it. And I believe that they're going to have to let us engineer it. There's just no way. I can't believe they would leave it like that. I just don't know how it's going to be viable for AX that way. And we need it. We need it for AX. So they're gonna have to let us engineer. I'm just saying. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it, commanders. I've been right a bit before. I've been wrong before, but mostly, I'm gonna say I'm always right. Even when I'm wrong, I'm right. Leaving system. All right, we're out of here. Boy, that was some crazy shit, right? Hull integrity is within limits. All other systems are now at normal levels. Yeah, if they don't let us do an increased FSD range modification, we're just not going to be using them. Which, you know, sucks, but it's the way it is. We can't we can't compromise that freaking much. Ooh. Yeah, see, the reason it looks like it's wobbling to some people is because they're not... They're either not using a joystick or they're using a controller where it's like super easy to make the ship go whirr. Cause that's all it is. It's just this happening. Like, can you turn, you can't turn that off in this mode. But in regular space, you can turn fly assist off. Shift drive charging. That's what this is doing. Just turn the flight assist off. So you gotta, you gotta steady, you gotta be steady. You can't be just wiggling your thumb all over the damn place. That's why it looks like it's wiggling. And I'm sure that it's much more sensitive on a controller than it is on a joystick. Which, which, which I wish I had a sponsorship for joysticks right now, because I would be calling up, I'd be calling up uh, Logitech and looking, saying, "Look, man, I need a, I need an affiliate code so I can sell some joysticks, because controllers are gonna suck, I would assume. And keyboard, I God only knows what happens on the keyboard. I don't even want to know." I'm not even I'm not even gonna discuss it. Because it's gotta suck. Warning, I'm try it again. See, look. You just hold on. See it does move a little bit, but it's mostly based on how much I'm moving. Deploy heating. Heard. Executing now. Frame shift drive 
Alright. 07. Let's go. Now I'm half tempted to go get another damn Windrunner. Yeah, so if I do this again, what I'll do, if I end up using it for the attack, I will, and I don't get close enough to the uh, Titan to make it worthwhile, I will go to uh, that station Safety where I just got Ryman, and I will take, I will take Windrunner over there, and then I will call my bomber ship over from there. Or I'll just skip the whole process because it doesn't have enough jump range, and just do normal because I you only need. I mean, to get your two million, you don't need this tribe. If you want to get, if you want to try to get in the top one percent, you might need it because you're going to need to go fast. Fast is good, right? Frame shift drive charging. Yeah, Kai. I thought you said you didn't even have. Did you go and buy Odyssey? So I thought you didn't even have Odyssey yet. Four, Vectors. Three, two, one, I mean, if you're already using Odyssey and you're kicking out that much ass, you're doing really good. Exit destination confirmed. You got way more Arrival time on your hands than five, even I do. I got four, a lot. Three, two, one. Oh, your Horizon stuff. Why aren't you using Odyssey? Come on, man. Did they put the, they didn't put this drive in Horizons, did they? No, they didn't do that. Maybe they did. I don't know. I thought they weren't. I don't know if they're still up to. I don't know what they're doing. To be honest. Um, okay, Commander. Frame shift drive charging. It's just another button we get to push, boys. Boy, I'll tell you what, I am not doing this many jumps all the time. That's crazy talk. But I would do it if I could park it right next. The other thing is the limpets. Because the limpets weight your ship down. And in some of my ships, that's too much weight. And I definitely don't want to really do Titan assaults in a cutter. That's just too damn big. That thing is... I think I'll get... I mean, cutters are durable and they can take a beating, but Jesus Christ... Those things are under attack all the time. Of course, if you engineer the bejesus out of it, maybe it's not as big a deal as I think it is, but what do I know? Are you a console player? Engaged. Why are you not a PC player? What is wrong with you? If so. Hyperspace, checking systems now. Come Who even does that? Well, I think no matter what, if Odyssey ever goes to consoles, it will not go to the last gen. It will only go to the new gen, current gen. So if you're not on the current gen anyway, it wouldn't matter. This game just won't run on the older consoles. But they could have they could have left it on the newer one. Oh, then you should have a then you should have Odyssey. You're just you're just being a poopy. We're going to Jang. You ever been to Jang? Man, we're almost out of gas, man. I gotta quit messing around with that turbo. Frame shift drive charging. How many Two jumps. Yeah, I gotta quit screwing around. What do you mean? You can come do this. There's still six Titans after this one. You don't have to scan plants. Why the hell would you do that? Who even does that? I don't scan plants. You ever seen me scan a plant? You will never see me scan a plant. That is a no that is a no bueno right there. No go. That's a that's a that's a line. That's a red line, baby. Man, we're gonna make it back just barely enough fuel. Let me just make sure. 
Next jump. Yeah, I hope that's where my ship's at. All right. No more screwing around. We're out of gas. Nobody scans plans. Ugh. That's like streamers do that just because it's easy. That's the only ones that do Jumping that. Jumping to next system. Two, one. Checking systems now. There's no, there's no glory in scanning plans. First footfall. Pfft. I got my name all over so many systems and I have systems are at optimal levels. Ready for exit now. Low fuel. Well, I don't know what kind of care you want. I mean, what do you want him to do for you? Tell me what kind. I wanted to boost to this too, but I'm gonna run out of gas. Oh, yeah, we went, we went way too fast for that one. Um, yeah, we're almost out of gas. Watch, I'll run out of gas right when I get to the carrier. Um, yeah, I mean, what do you want him? Yeah, I'm wondering what, uh, I don't know if they don't care about the players. They're definitely not 100%. Uh, Elite Dangerous is not 100% their priority. That is true. But, I mean, you can't really, that's not an emotional thing, okay? That's a business thing. And although we all think it's a dumb business thing, it's still a business thing. And they are in trouble right now, so... I think the fact that we're getting anything at all is probably a, a, a testament to the fact that they, they do care, but they don't have any money. <laughs> they want to care, but they ain't got any money. And, uh, yeah, some of the decisions they make are a little bit different than what I think the player base would actually like to see. Uh, depends on what part of the player base you ask, though. Elite's a big game, so there's a lot of players, a lot of different opinions out there. I mean, hell, I want it to be all combat all the time. And for the most part, I can do that, but they, uh, you know, they, we want new stuff every once in a while. That's the thing. And rather than making these ridiculously cinematic, huge DLC content that we don't have to pay for, by the way, in most cases. If you're, I happen to be one of those people that pay the 200 bucks for lifetime. So I don't even have to pay for anything new that comes out. So I mean, for me, it was a no brainer. It's like, well, it's not costing me anything. I never played on, I never played on a console because I just don't feel that that's the best use of my, my millions of dollars I spend on this shit. And then, you know, there's a lot of different opinions depending on what kind of pilot you are. The exploration pilots have all but abandoned the game because they feel like there's not enough new to see out there even though we've barely seen any of the galaxy. But they just want, they want something to do. You know, they want, they want some sort of a meta game or a mini game to do while they're out there, you know, exploring and, and collecting flowers and, and all that stuff. But they definitely don't want, they don't want to encounter species because some of them are going to be hostile. And then what are they going to do? They're going to shit an egg roll when they, when they encounter a species that's hostile. Yeah, they're going to get killed. In a hot, and they're going to lose all their data. Okay, we're doing a, we're doing an auto landing on this one. I got to put the ship back the way it's supposed to be. I'm done. I'm done testing for today. I got an idea. Got a plan. Did a plan live. That was a live plan here. Greetings. I mean, not all players play the same. That's for sure. And a lot of times, even when they did like the stuff with the Thargoid War, I literally thought that FDev was wanting to end it. Just be done and call it a day. Because I thought there's no way. There's no way that we're going to be able to stop the Thargoids. And we weren't. 
if until they intervened. They did intervene, and they said they weren't going to. And I think that's what scared everybody. Because I remember the Reddit, man. It was just like, people were like, I'm leaving, I'm going to Colonia, blah, blah, blah. But they, and then people are like, yeah, well, they're going to come there eventually too. So go ahead, but you're, you're next. You know what I mean? And then so they, a lot of the player base is terrified of this stuff. And I don't think, I mean, I think lowering the, the, the barrier was great, is a good idea because y you still have to be able to pilot to get in and, and hang around at a Titan. And you still have to be able to pilot if you want to fight Thargoids. You have to learn how to do certain things in a certain way. And a lot of pl pl players aren't like that. And that's why they prefer groups because then they can just put lasers on their ship and just go in there and tag everything and let the other pilots take care of business. Well, I don't think that I don't think that any players are up. Are, if you're talking about the the bug that uh, where that you could shoot the Titan without the Titan being open, that that's no good. And there are some bugs, but there's also you see how many pilots are just dealing with it. They know they know our tolerances. Okay, so they know that bug with the Titan was a huge bad thing that would have been that would have screwed up everything you know the stuff that's in there now the stuff with the the stuff with the desyncing and stuff i don't know that they can fix that because there's always been desyncing issues i mean that sounds like it could be i mean it's not as simple as just turning a knob and saying oh yeah oh just no more desyncs flip that can you guys flip that switch that's it's it's a very tough situation because of the fact that this depending and I don't know how strong their servers are or if they have a, how many servers they have or whatever it is but these connections come from all over the world and they're trying to get all that data from all over the world and then they put it into one database or whatever and that's our world so technically it's one world right where all the data comes to at some point somehow nobody knows how that works I don't know I mean a lot of the players don't know how that works so I don't think that that is like a fair assessment. I mean, obviously that bug was was really, really bad. And that's a huge exploit. And that would have really screwed up. It's things like that make people quit more than whether or not they're desyncing. Because it's easy enough for you to get in a small group and do the same thing. I'm even doing it solo. So it's not like it's the end of the world if you don't have a group. Titans aren't for making money anyway. Titans are for blowing up. So, and they, the, the only glory you get is you get a little sticker to stick on your ship, right? And I have those stickers on my bombers. All my bombers have those stickers. But that's it. There's no reason to, uh, you know, be too upset with them. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. I understand you want them to fix. I mean, players typically want them to fix all the bugs because they don't like them, and neither do devs. But again, if you go back to that whole thing, where depending on how much time it would take to fix that, and they only have they have a very limited number of people working on the game now, so uh, they're and they're not just going to dump throw people at it. At least not yet. I mean, if everybody quits the game, they're just going to close it down. I mean, it's 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 had its run. It's made its money. Obviously, that'll hurt their bottom line. But they may try to save it. But the way they try to save it is all based on money. And you know, the way they do things, I don't know how the hell they're making money because they don't really put out a lot of they don't put out a lot of things that we can buy off the store. So I'm not sure exactly, unless they just make money from new purchases. A lot of old commanders will buy multiple copies of the game. They'll just buy, um, you know, multiple accounts. And then that's how some people are able to, like, do a lot of things. Some people can even multi-box where they're driving ships on multiple uh, computers. And, you know, at least to, like, even for something as simple as holding open an instance. So if you wanted to hold open an instance while you, uh, you know, tried to, 
remove you know all the banshees or something say on a spire site and you wanted to do it but you're only in your you didn't have anybody to help you you had a second account that had some sort of a a tank on it that could stay in the instance and hold it open for you and it might get attacked by scouts or whatever but unless it got attacked by a a, a cyclops then it wouldn't matter it'd be fine you could keep that instance open indefinitely that's one of the things too but I don't know what bug there's no bug that I can think of right now that's crippling uh, crippling the players I mean there's annoyances but I believe that that's true for any game I mean, you can play Helldivers man everybody and their mother loves that game you can play that Power World's good too uh, even uh, uh, Baldur's Gate 3 everybody loves those games there's not a whole lot of choice in the space genre um, at least not right at the moment not if you're not if you want a fully fleshed out game that's you know yeah it's got some problems but desyncs and stuff are really gonna be a challenge I'm sure um, especially with people that have uh, less than stellar computers and people that are playing in you know obscure parts of the world are gonna have more trouble connecting with other players and when you're you know when you're a group you're an open group a public group you're going to get players like that if you're in a small group you could you know your friends in your small friend group likely all have you know kind of the same computers or at least at least you know buff enough to handle what's going on i've never really had a problem with desyncs in a in a wing with my friends but when i go into like a public or some of the larger open groups i do have problems there and I don't know that that's something they can fix or not. Uh, outside of, like, you know, and maybe that's why they leave the game. And a lot of times they leave the game to where it's, you know. But I've seen big instances that just go on and on. I think the Titan one in particular probably needs some more uh, work. Yeah. Right, so... Yeah, obviously, Elite is a great game for casual play, too. I mean, there are a lot of commanders that don't, but they're kind of crazy, okay? They're, they're, there's something going on in their head. I mean, I play a lot, but I'm not as much like... I don't play as much as some of these guys that just know every single thing about the game. That's all they do all day. I don't know. They, they may have other things going on in their lives I don't know about, but I do know that there are players that play way more than I do. And I play a lot. Because I play a lot more than any, even any of my friends do. Because yeah, we all have things to do outside of that too. But right now I'm not working. So, so I'm just kind of having a little extra fun. Anyway, Commanders, I do want to go to the Spire sites today. But right now, I'm going to go have some lunch. I think we've done uh, three hours. That's so more than enough. I hope that you know this was helpful for you, maybe. I think that they're going to put in some kind of thing. And we're gonna, um, oop. and uh, we're gonna continue looking at it. I just don't think that that engine's viable right now, not for Oya, unless they let us engineer it. Yeah, no, I'm not having a salad. I'm gonna have something good. The, uh, you know, I think they're gonna let us engineer it at some point down the road. I think they're mostly just seeing what we're gonna do with it. If you're in the bubble plan, it might be okay for you to try it. If you don't know how to fly with flight assist off very well, you might want to hold off. Because <laughs> it gets a little tricky. I mean, the first time I did it, it was like I was all over the place. Like, oh, and then I realized, like, oh, that's, yeah, they're turning off the flight assist. So it's just like, and I don't know how far that, I never tried to, like, do a 360 or anything with the turbo on. But it might fly your ship apart if you go a little too far. Just remember, it's not going to get you to Hutton. Okay, so don't try it, Commander. Just follow the greens on the way out, okay? I want you guys to all have a great rest of your Thursday. I'll be back probably tomorrow. We'll go to the Spire site, okay? So get your ships ready for Spire site. If you want to come with me, you can come with me. And we'll go disrupt, we'll go disrupt everybody, okay? Follow me on any of these platforms here. Links are in the, links are in the description. We'll talk